Hello. <laughs> Two o'clock. Set your watches. That's... That is it. British hat time. B H T. Two p.m. Two Perfect. Yeah. Nailed it. How's everyone Set doing? Set those watches. Hope you're all well. Hmm. Uh, we're back for a bloody Synced. Monday month off. Two p.m. Now. There it is. If you're in America, two p.m. If you're in Australia, two p.m. All right. It's simple. Jesus, yeah. Global no, time zone. It's two p.m. It's hat two p.m. <clears throat> right. Thank you for joining us, everybody. We're back in action. Smith's back from his field. He's Hello. congested because wood chip created a dust storm into his <laughs> face all weekend. So, uh, Not specifically into my face, it was just like breathing a dust storm. Yeah. I don't have the shits. No, actually, very healthily operating there. Has he got the shit? Did you block a toilet? Is that common? To... No, I didn't block a toilet this time. I um. Oh man, they had they have showers there now, which are excellent. Oh wow! I've and been I, in them. I think. Yeah. Well, there have been in the ones block. on the end that yeah. got like the toilet yeah. and integrated into the room. Kind of like a concrete feels... structure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's 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 horrific because it's all made of concrete, but even that feels like luxury. You know, when you've got your own lockable room with the toilet, sink, it's and great. shower in it. <clears throat> yeah, and also, not it's... many people use it. Yeah, I know, right? It's weird. It's great. Well, he's talking about LARP, by the way. If you don't, if you have context that needs, that's probably yeah, worth mentioning. Ye olde showers, yeah, that's what they call them. There's a big wooden swinging sign outside. I love that because last time I was there, I was in the out a character camp, and then the showers are right next to that. Oops! So we just use it like a goddamn bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> I just use it every day. It's amazing. Yeah. Fresh shower every morning. Feel a lot Ooh. better. I was thinking though, imagine if the Empire site was next to like a really nice, broad, shallow, clean stream like you get like up north and stuff. Like and people could go and bathe in a stream. How fucking icy that would be! And it would be hilarious. nice, but then you'd look to your left and see someone like snotting their nose into the stream, and it just slowly yeah, works its way moving. towards you. There's enough space between you and other people, and it's fast. I mean, there's other shit in the stream beyond like you know spit the to worry about. Well. Yeah, exactly. There there's be, yeah. tons of fish shit and duck shit. Uh, mm. But I like that stuff. And right, your shit, human shit. And I'll hopefully, it, right? yeah, Humans I would speed it up. Yeah. Well, because I want to simulate dysentery. Oh, of course. Fair. Well, hopefully, if they get enough budget, they can create their own river. You know, just carve wow. one in. Fucking hell, shot! I, that is a just destroy some, some farmland. Decadent. Would it be a natural river? So they'd have. Like, yeah, they'd have to meet it up with the Avon River. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. What a, what a truly immersive experience! And we could all go and dig it for six months. Could yeah, it'd be like Valheim in real life. Barrels. Uh, roll yeah. that as well yeah yeah we not at the end people. everyone gets a meal ticket <laughs> <laughs> maybe oh. get some gopros involved recreate yeah. the hobbit scene oh for sure maybe some from like that era like a gopro 3 um, yeah of course yeah <laughs> go back <laughs> 1080 50 of course god they were so as ugly as Peter Jackson intended this is it. This is perfect. I want these buffoonish, exaggerated dwarf people to look like they're on the preview cam of one of yeah. those roller coaster cameras. The water on, ride. Like, <laughs> on a water ride. Like, yeah. And they go round. I just want to see where they get off and fucking Legolas oh. is there for some reason. Just, and he's just got a booth of screens where he's like, here you go. Here's the photos we took of you. We're doing a one because we haven't really stupid. planned this or we haven't got the time for it. So just put GoPros on everyone's barrels. Do we know it was definitely GoPros? I think it I mean, was. It looked yeah. like GoPros, but like, do we know if that's what they actually used? No, it was. Yeah, 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 like yeah. A small sensor camera, whatever it was. Because no, no, like... I, I'm I'm ninety nine percent certain it had uh, they were using GoPros. Yeah, because at yeah. the time that was the best small scale camera you could strap to something in water. I think, uh, but um. They must yeah, have done some I mean, he had, they had the audacity to stretch out to three films, but they just couldn't just get the finesse of the, the original trilogy. God, no, yeah. Um, Not in the slightest, and we'll yeah. always be annoyed about it. Always. Maybe I need to watch it again. Maybe it's incredible. <laughs> I won't ever let that go. On my deathbed, I'd be like, it's fucking stupid. The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. I have regrets for someone else, and his name is Peter Jackson. <laughs> I didn't like the excessive use of cameos of all the Rings characters, which oh, weren't in the Hobbit. Fucking Evangeline Lily and stuff like that added in was a bit like, I don't know. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. All right. Well, on that note, we can't really continue streaming. 
So <laughs> fuck well, this. It. Sorry, we've got to go now and yeah. contemplate how. Strong feelings about the Hobbit. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. What should we start oh, with? Should we just warm up yeah, some what? Rocket League or something? Can what we? do people want us to play? I'll put a poll what in do chat. People want. No, they don't get a choice. Well, if you want to play Rocket League, we can definitely start with something. We'll start with after that, that whilst we do a poll. Uh, uh, I'll do a couple of games and do a poll. Okay. Right. What should you put in here? So. Controller burb. Do you want to. Right. Let's, I'll put golf in. Um, I'll put. Um, what's new that we haven't played recently? Uh, we could do. I could put some Jackbox in there. Jack and boxing. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, was my mic not muted? No. I'm glad um, it wasn't. Just my vocal cords starting up before they achieve a steady tone. They are fucking weird vocal cords, aren't they? Yep. Just gross flats the skin. Out. The air just pushes really, through and vibrates. Really does gross That's me fucked out. fucked up. Yeah. Really? Well, what's fucked up? Vocal, vocal cords. cords and how they work are pretty fucking weird. Like making sounds out of our flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you show them. The more guttural it is, the weirder it is. I don't know what the fuck to play. Hold on. Where's... Oh. I can't see chat when you're making a poll. That is annoying. It is annoying. Yeah. Twitch, can you fix that? Uh, let's see. Right, I've got another window open. Put some comments in chat of serious suggestions for things you'd like to see. Serious and only, if please. If it's not serious, I'll ban Smith's going to fucking kick off if it's not serious. Disc space was good for a little while, but it's extremely, oh, oh, I don't want to go back extremely to limited. Also, the last time we, oh, trot, Jesus, infinite regression. Look at that. Yeah, that is mad. I like that. Why is that happening though? <laughs> Let's double check. Oh, primary one. Oh, oh, a lot of you are saying hunt. All right, I'll put hunt in. Call of the Wild or hunt showdown. showdown. Oh, okay. It's been a while. I do enjoy that one. Been a while. Been a while. Nice. Been a while. The new Harry Potter Damn. game. Is that out yet? Is the no. fucking new Harry Potter game out yet? I would legitimately try I don't that. Think it's out yet. Don't do it. Like I know, it doesn't even look like I, I want that it's not even that like, you know, I, I watch the trailers no. and I can see why people would enjoy it, but for me it, it it's not what I want at my age. You know what I mean? This is a single player, um, right? Yeah, it's yeah. 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 But um it's just an RPG around Hogwarts, right? Seems like it, yeah. Mm. A little bit more handholdy. No, it says holiday 2022. Um, a little bit holiday, so yeah, end of year. What a shame. Trolley problem. Yeah, it's a new that, Yorks published that's, game. I um, think that's a new Yorks one, yeah. Is that a uh, multiplayer game, do we know? I don't know. Actually. Uh yeah. Okay, I'll put trolley profit problem in. Um Maybe it's not. So been any updates on ready or not? It's got Twitch integration, wow. No, not really. Not yet. It's like prop hunt. Okay. Oh there was um oh which one was that? The trolley the problem, problem is single player. Okay. Okay. Um, was, are they talking about that ghost one? There's a ghost, ghost of sushi hunting game, which is kind of like prop hunt. Oh, yeah. I forget what's called. Suddenly, it's called. Let me type in ghost. Ghostbusters. Midnight ghost hunt. I think it is. Midnight. We're going to do a couple hunt. of refinements here. So I, I'm going to take out some of the lower winners, do a new poll, and then put in a couple of the other suggestions that I'm seeing a lot of, just because there's a limit to how many I can put in. So if people want to. Vote again on their next preference. This thing is oh, okay. pretty close. Trolley problem might be good anyway because it asks a lot of questions and it might be good as like a okay. a dialogue kind of base game. As in we yeah, chat about the leading. answers. Yeah. Well, it's, it's up there with golf. Okay. So. Winterest wing. Wouldn't it be nice if we supported the Ogs games? Oh, by God, playing one of their games. Be bloody good. 
top. Well, we can take trolley problem as as the winner if you like, because it is the winner. Sure. Well, well if it well, is we, the winner, we do I a guess revote. It kind of makes sense. We must. Golf of Thieves Showdown. Somebody suggested. That's, That's quite the mix. I, I will get my Rocket League in there. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, loading up now. Oops. Send invite to Tom. Oops. Silly. Don't accept Start it. Playing. He should be working. Yeah. But is he? Probably not. Or is he now? It's suddenly in Rocket League. Oh wait, he's playing Rocket League. Oh my well. god! Right now. <laughs> Fine. Hmm. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on Game Boy. That's a nice suggestion. I like that. That'd be nice. Let's go retro. I've sent invites. Did we I ever try to... Space Beast Terror Fright? No. What a name. It sounds, sounds like a made up game, but I'm. And they're all made up games. Uh, I saw Ross like Hornby over the weekend in Mombasa. He was chasing some guy in the streets. What about that, yeah. Ross? You didn't see anything. Why isn't Rocket League launching? Didn't, didn't see, see shit. shit. Okay. How far did I get through saw. my Dark Souls? I haven't played it recently. Oh, I got him there. I got to... Uh, what's that fancy city? Here we go. Here we fucking go. Yeah. Tom Hazel. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stop inviting me to things. He's launching. No. Stop it. <laughs> Look. We don't need good players. Do trios. Not duos. It doesn't. It doesn't fit the vibe. It has to be subpar with one good player. Well, like some people. Subpar in HD. <laughs> Got him. Mm. And a Londo. Yeah, that's only. where I am. Yes. And uh, you start off. You, then there's like little demon. Well, demon things with wings. Mark Light underscore oh. donated five pounds. Thank you, Hat Films, for all your great content, getting oh. me through some rocky times. Thank you very much. It's very kind. Nice. Why hasn't that come up for me? Uh, let me have a look. Oh, it has. There we go. Yeah. Mar Marker Light. Thank you, Marker Light. Thank you, Marker Light. Your little Thank you. There. I'll read out more subbies and stuff you. in a bit. Are we watching all the Rocky films at once or? No, just the light version. Sorry, it's just a joke on the. Yeah. We got him through some Rocky times. It's pathetic. It's bad. It's actually really bad. Oh, you should feel ashamed. Shame. I do feel ashamed. Most of my life. Oh. But we, but we move. We move on. It's a Bon Jovi song. Well, I feel ashamed most of my life. I do feel ashamed most of my life. <laughs> you can't just say it in a Bon Jovi way. Yeah, I can. Why not? I definitely can. That's how Bon Jovi does it. <laughs> he says things in a Bon Jovi way. Wow! Oh, I'm so ashamed. Wow! <laughs> I'm still ashamed. <laughs> you can do the same thing with me, love. God, my Stop frame rate. Some rates. plinky, plinky. Oh, yeah, no. Refresh rate is awful. Awful garbage. Huh? Oh, I don't know why. Let me have a look. Hey, I found a fucking hack, by the way. Did you? You might benefit from. See, God, what? With a dual monitor setup. Mm -hmm. uh, our motherboards have a display port integrated. Yeah. And you can offload your second monitor into that. So your oh, okay. graphic main graphics cards only powering one oh, monitor. Well that's good. It just How works. How does it work when um when you mirror a monitor? Is that putting a lot of load on both monitors or does it No, that's just, technically that less. Fairly less because yeah. I find using my laptop's mirroring mode looks really good. Like it works effortlessly. Yeah, it's less, I think, because it's not pro it's not doing two different processes. Yeah, true. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, get it in there, son. Oh. oh you probably had a better it's angle than me. It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. I still need to set up the monitor in here. Oh, fucking hell. 
Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. oh it's just there. I was landing. There. I was trying to get a jump. Fuck me. How do we not get a flounder? He got him. There you go. And three on the second monitor, most likely to be handled by the GPU still. Yeah, well, I'm not running a second game on that second monitor. Just got stream stuff. And... It's mainly just, yeah, windows being open. Ross, have you sent your 3090 back yet? Uh, no, I haven't sent it back yet, but I've sent them all the bloody paperwork. Oh, nice. I've them about it. And... Yeah, hopefully it needs to be processed. I think it's, I think it's going to be picked up. <clears throat> they tried to make me go through the store to deal with it. Right. Obviously, like, it's beyond the year, so, like, they're not going to be interested. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, on the old 2080 Ti. For now. Old reliable. Not as reliable as a 1080 Ti, I would say. Those felt really reliable. Those felt robust as hell. Yeah. I trust those with my wife. Yeah, because it's a graphics well, card. Really yeah, they wouldn't do shit. It's a fucking, literally, an animal <laughs> object. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, you can have the 1080 tonight. <laughs> I trust it. I trust it. I don't and quite trust you, you with it, it, though. I don't trust you, though. <laughs> I'm your wife. <laughs> no, you're me speaking with a slightly higher voice. There we go. Ding dong. It in. Well overdue. It's two minutes, 30 seconds left. I'm not even That's pregnant. Bloody Smash it. And obviously, you guys watched the F1 at the weekend, so it lark. Right? Yeah, we plugged the Jenny yeah, in, yeah. got the 60 inch plas plasma up. Nice, nice. LCD. Projected onto that canvas tent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've seen how that works. Yeah, it works Be great. Yeah, at night time. Very, before oh, we go on to the F1, somebody oh. was telling me there was this Danish guy that I met there, yeah. a different Danish guy. Well, I didn't really meet. I think I did. Um, anyway, what? he I can't remember if I overheard it around a fire oh, or I was I actually see. talking to them. Um, but they were saying about they went to this big German map or something and somebody was projecting um, a looped gif of a curvy woman undressing onto the side of a tent. <laughs> and Fuck's people sake. were just stopping and thinking like like they were catching people like oh. stopping and looking at it. And then yeah, it, oh, right, so just falling. oh, they made yeah, it yeah, look yeah. realistic. So it looked realistic. This shadow, <laughs> this shadow yeah, yeah. from the inside of this tent. That, um, but then it would loop <laughs> right at the end, <laughs> like before so, anything yeah, happens. A hard so, switch back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was pretty uh, it reminds me of that, the scene in Austin Powers where they're unloading a load of stuff uh, in a tent. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like pulling stuff out of his arse. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. I can see that being uh, entertaining from the yeah. high point of view. It's a stink bomb. Oh, oh God, he's stuck. Oh, give it a good tug. <laughs> Look at a fucking broom out of his ass. An umbrella as well, isn't it? Oh, that was an umbrella. Oh, oh don't, open it. <laughs> don't open it inside. But that's what, that's a reference. I, I think that's a reference to a Carry On film. So there's a Carry On film where they do oh, the right, same yeah. prank. Ah, oh, God, oh, Jesus. Yeah, it does have that um, kind of sex comedy vibe. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> sex comedy. Carry On was yeah. a lot more uh, potentially racist and well, yeah. I mean, it's uh, sexist. <laughs> mm. Oh, massively, Jesus Christ. Yeah, they're very much a Barbara Windsor just. <laughs> Always being you know, a, always in underwear and stuff like I mean, I didn't enjoy the, the carry on films. So well, they, yeah, they were very much from a different time, weren't they? Yeah. Even like they were older. Where people time. didn't suspect Jimmy Savile of being strange. Yeah, well, shit. Where women genuinely oh. enjoyed being kissed by a man who just smoked a cigar with a know, terrible teeth. Really nervous laughter. It's like no, no, they, they were. They, they were. Man. Yeah, there was a huge section of of people back then who were like excited to be. Uh, uh, receiving affection from Jimmy Savile. That's so gross. Yeah. But that's the same era that Carry On sort of reflects, I guess. Yeah. But there are a lot of like people who said they knew him at the time and got that vibe from him as well. Right, or, like, okay. They found uh, yeah, uncomfortable just being near him. So like, I'm, I'm imagining Perhaps that... those yeah. people are a bit more intuitive. Yeah, but um, I don't know, maybe behind closed doors, even, even weirder, which yeah. surprised me. Like fucking Weinstein type. Yeah. Yes! Right, we just need to get one more. Take in three seconds. OT. In three, the three seconds there is. Mm -hmm. Three for three. Can we do it? Can we? I've got absolutely zero cummies. What's going on? No cummies at all. Can't be gambling between the cummies. You can't be making side bets. 
always make a side bet. Oh, you got this. Push shot. No. Push shot, no, everybody. No, we no, still no, got this. No. This is Ross. Ross is still alive. Ross ah, probably. Push shot. Oh. Shit. I didn't do anything. If only. If only. Oh, yeah. Johnny Rotten did call him out on BBC ages ago and got banned. Yeah, he did, yeah. That's nuts. Covering it up. Because they showed that on that documentary, they showed the clip of um, Have I Got News For You where he makes off-color comments about trusting him in a girls' school, right? Oh, and they were all like no. cringing and kind of like, oh, disgusted by him. But like... Sort of things what did time. Johnny Rotten say specifically? I can't remember. I think it was quite... I think I, I remember being quite plain about it. Quite just... And when was he said? Clear, saying, How long ago? Was it on, was it on 90s, Parkinson? I think. He might have been on Parkinson. I think, I'm, I think I have seen the clip they mentioned. I didn't realize he was banned from the BBC for it, though. Yeah. So it might have just been edited out for liability, just in case. I think it aired, because it was live. Obviously, it's a very shot. strange thing without any evidence. You, it's, it's hard to directly accuse someone with celebrity power without getting, like, fucking sued. And I mean, from the side, looks of it, he had more than celebrity power. He had, like, wow. a British establishment power, which is yeah, just like, crazy. Yeah, like, hanging out with Thatcher and Diana yeah. as well, like... Thatcher and Diana, <laughs> it's just bizarre. It's so strange. strange. And then you just put a big old mask of, wow, he donated to hospitals, kids' hospitals. He's got to be a saint. Got if anything, your heinous crimes. You should really, yeah, you should really investigate the ones who are putting lots of money into those now. Um... Just to see where that, where there's a guilt, a guilt trail, mm. <laughs> you know. And I'm sure there's plenty of people who do good for good things, but um, if you're giving tens of millions away to uh, children's oh. hospitals, oh! raise one eyebrow, raise one. Yeah, Have a look. Exactly. Yeah, see why. Remain skeptical. It's a good state of mind. Nah, naively optimistic. That's my mantra. <laughs> naively optimistic is the last bastion of those who have abandoned worry. <laughs> Everything will be fine. No one's pedophilic, really. A good, healthy worry. Well, I might have a good, healthy worry about things tonight, aren't they? Yeah, I've scheduled oh, it in. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, Fucking hell, I'd say. That was really good. Cool. Recovery. You. I normally get them off the wall like that. It's quite. Yeah, well, see, that was a much, much better way to get it out. Should we call that one the it. Jimmy Savile? Why? That manoeuvre. Well, that move? What? Because, like, you know, knew off. you did a heinous mistake, but you made up for it. <laughs> Something positive. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if it. I don't know if that equates. The sample? No? Uh, don't fancy it. <laughs> the, the fix it. Jim, Jim will fix it. Thanks for the cummy, <laughs> cummies, Mr. Can't Stop. Oh, Cheers. well, are the cummies coming my way? I only got 50, by the way, so don't like lose your oh, shit man. about it. Oh, I'm not losing my shit. I just say, I mean, any cummy helps. Every, Every cummy, cummy helps. helps. I've got zero cummies, Ross. Zero. I have zero as well. Wow, well, okay. Oh. Same boat. Last of the same boat. Last of the same flicked into there. Yeah, no, that was just a full-blown sample. Oh. Fix it! Fix it! You couldn't oh. fix it. You died with that mistake. Uh, I died with that mistake. I can't... Let's not make that a thing. That's <laughs> not... No, it's, nah, it's not funny. Do you want to know an interesting story? Oh God, it's, it's not interesting at all. And it's unrelated to Jimmy Savile. Nice, I okay. went uh, to pick up a garden set today. Like a garden set. furniture sofa set oh, yeah. to go oh. on my decking. Nice, and nice, uh, nice. I trawled through websites to find like a good deal, bang for buck kind of garden set. There's so many available, it's ridiculous. You've got Dunelms, you've got that. your home bases, you got your next yeah. stuff. I've, we settled on one. Stuff as well. My kids got all right stuff, yeah. yeah. Um, but I, we settled on one because it's the right mm -hmm. dimensions and everything from yep. home base. Nice. Okay. Half price. Holy shit. Oh, really? Used to be a grand, down to 500. Wow. Oh, that's 500. And it's a two seater sofa set. So it's like a yeah. corner sofa thing, which you can split oh, okay. into two sofas and a coffee table oh, as shit, well. Nice. All for 500, which is really not bad. Um, mm. But it's only available. Oh, if you, you can't order it online, you have to go to the store. There's right, no home okay. base um, in Bristol. There's a but Next. Not, what? Next has home base. It's like a little tiny section of it at Cribs. No, they don't. So uh, I went to Portishead this morning. 
Right. And they didn't have any. <laughs> oh. So you just haven't got it then. So you're really excited about this thing and you can't get it anywhere. Yeah, I just went all the way to Port Said yeah, for that garden set. Just... Oh shit, no, 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 no. Why didn't you call ahead? Uh, they, well, the website said it was fine. It was in stock. Oh, oh really? Oh fuck. shit. That's, that's annoying. That and it there. turns out they have minus 139 in the warehouse. So it means oh, that loads and loads God. of people have ordered and they don't have the stock for it. Oh, that's not half shit. price deal, though. It's I mean, that deal, yeah. yeah. The thing is, apparently, uh, when I heard that garden furniture was um, getting more expensive. That's the thing. I think uh, everyone's buying it now. So, yeah, people should make your own drop. Make I'll just own. start making my own. Make Maybe own sell idea. it, even. You might break even. You might get it for... I might. I buy the wood point. for an arm and a leg. It's and then... Of, yeah, it's more of um, getting the right dimensions and... Uh, the we'll do a video on it. We try and make trot some my garden, garden set. <laughs> yeah, we've got little to no wood it's skills. More value to it because you made it yourself. Yeah, that's true. Bespoke. But, um, yeah, garden so it's a gourmet garden set. I was literally going to buy garden furniture the other day. Uh, for my that's gear, crazy. But again, sold out. They sold out for the ones, the good ones. Yeah, I liked. I was like, I'm going to have to really settle good. with Don Elm, which is perfectly fine. I have to pay. A, I have to pay more now. A nice save. Chris Helm. Chris Helm. So that was a pretty interesting story, right? After straight after oh, the Savile yeah. stuff. No, fucking not really. Um, <laughs> it's a very oh, like. pedestrian dad in his fifties kind of <laughs> story. Yeah. Well, there's plenty um, more of that to come. It's the, re it's the reality of. of Wait till I start talking about my windows. <laughs> oh, you already, you already, did you not talk about it the other day in the stream? Yeah, I did, yeah, but, you know, there's always exciting yeah. updates. Yeah. <clears throat> Ron Weasley's dad reversed into my Tesla at the weekend. <laughs> that is yeah. a story. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> After nearly nine years of owning a car and never having it hit, in the first month of owning a new one, uh, somebody reversed into the back of me in a car park. And it's going to take until the middle of June to get it repaired. It's only cosmetic. It's like a 30 centimetre dent. Um, and the guy stopped and we exchanged and uh, I don't have to pay anything, but it's not ideal. It's the not guy ideal. Had so, no. Smith showed us the video that the Tesla automatically records. The guy had so much space to reverse and he just reversed in a straight line into the back of Smith. <laughs> it's, no just sense. Terrific. it's just horrific. It <laughs> just gets a little notification on his phone saying Sentry's been activated. <laughs> That would be <laughs> I come outside and Ron Weasley's yeah. dad's there with his hands on his head. Oh, not really, sorry. The, not the actual actor, but an, imagine a slightly less charming version of Ron Weasley's dad. Um, Did it show you the cameras on your phone at all? Like from, yeah. So it shows you what's you can happening. Remote in. Yeah, yeah. You can oh, remote man. In. Uh, there's four cameras, uh, for, one for each sort of angle of the, the car. It's awesome. I guess it's also kind of like pointless. I mean, does it make a noise? If they are about to hit your reverse, it's the Final Fantasy yeah, victory cool, battle scene. That would be cool. Well, I, I guess it'd be really, really annoying. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd get loads of false positives as well. Oh, like, bam, 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 bam. But no, it doesn't do that. It does suck me off though, so that's pretty cool. Wow. What? <laughs> How does it enable a phone to do that? <laughs> it doesn't have a, a speeder directly in front of you, but it sucks you off. Yeah. Um, trade off. If you like Elon Musk will look into your eyes from the middle screen. <laughs> His eyes pop up. <laughs> just to throw it into my eyes. Just do it. Hello. Yeah, it's really great. I'm gonna go by Twitter now. I'm gonna go. Sure. I'm gonna go have another kid. <laughs> oh! He's got a lot of kids. Oh, He's got it. loads of fucking kids. He and he spends his entire time supposedly working on his businesses. So yeah. It's just like, oh, thanks yeah, for breeding a, uh, a, 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 a team of super maladjusted billionaire kids. Yeah. Know, cheers for that. Can't oh, wait for their skip. terrible influence, like a souped up Trump junior in a few years' time. God damn, yeah. They're going to get everything they yeah. want and no well, father figure <laughs> to help. Buy everything, so. Yeah, Unlike it's horrific. Trump. It's the reason the Trump family is so fucked, because it was the grandfather that made all the money and they're all just the maladjusted, terrifying sociopaths that hey, are the result can, of no need. They can need become to president one day. <laughs> it's just terrifying. We really need to worry about They this. got all the credentials. <laughs> yeah. As in money. All I'm saying is there should be a test for kids and they should limit it at the top and limit it at the bottom. 
<clears throat> what do you mean test? Positive on fair, you know what I mean. No, I don't you know mean. exactly what I fucking no, mean. No, what, what do you mean? Uh, test though, what? It should be a test, test to see whether you're allowed to have children. Right. And what, <laughs> what would that consist Like a driving of? test? Uh, yeah. Like a hazard perception? Yes, yes, perfect. I love it. <laughs> Is it a test that you can get better at? I don't think Ron Weasley's dad yes. would be allowed kids. The guy that reversed into your <laughs> car. Yeah. No, well, he does. He has many. Now, he's, he, was, he was an alright guy. He was just a bit befuddled and a bit like... I, I, obviously, I was just like, it's alright, dude. Shit happens. But, like, watching the video back, I was just like, for fuck's sake, man. Yeah, it's all my <laughs> it's it's brand you new. Brand new. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't... I mean, fair play for being calm. I would have been annoyed. Yeah, yeah. I was not like... The hassle alone of having to deal with it is, yeah. is what annoyed me. But it's just like... It, you were just going about your day in some fucking klutz. Yeah. Smashes into your brand new car. It's like, that's so shit. Yeah. I would, be, I'd be, I would struggle to contain my anger at the yeah. time. Yeah. You're annoyed just it. thinking about it. It's annoying because it's just a, it's a brand new fucking car. It's expensive. <laughs> it's getting it's like, worse. Oh God, it's just the, I can't believe it. You're parked. It's, like, <laughs> it's just, it's so avoidable that it's just annoying. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Parked up and, and pr there's so much space. So <laughs> much space. Was, we watched so much space. space. Like, fucking hell. I don't know how you could even. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has to pay the price, doesn't he? But, well, yeah, but I feel bad. The ultimate price? Like, <laughs> it's, it's, he's, <laughs> he's one of like, yeah, I know what you mean. He's one of these absent minded kind of like people. <laughs> and it's just like, man, I just wish you didn't have to pay for this. It's yeah. really annoying for all of us, I'm sure. More so for you because yeah. it's going to cost you money. Well, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, gonna cost it's also going to put you out. For years to come as well because yeah. it's going to be premiums. It's not just a one off, is it? So. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, I can't imagine that person's got many no <laughs> no claims bonus years. No, it didn't seem like the kind. Not, yeah. He did have a reasonably modern car, so he's clear. I think he's like one of these people that does he keeps well, having but is also soft like, mouth because he keeps yeah. wrecking them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm very sorry, love, God, I'm sorry, I, bloody I, hell. I, Third I, I time this week. Else. Another one. They can't make cars fast enough for me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh god. That's the other thing, yeah. Trying to, like, if you, if anyone ripped off your car, that's another, yeah. like, year and a half away oh. from the Oh, that, that would have been the worst thing, yeah. I was, I was kind of worried. Well, yeah. I was like, I was like, what? I'm still, like, I still am worried. They haven't given me the, like, work estimate yet because they might have to order, like, a new bumper for the back yeah. of my car, which exactly is going to have to wait, like, a year for a ship from Shanghai to bring a load more over because wow. of the stock issues. You can make me so, a garden set and I'll make you a new bumper. You can dink. You can get in there with a little ball hammer and get the dent out. <laughs> Basically, get, the damage is just below the hatchback um, like boot or whatever. It's on like not quite the lowest bumper, but just above that. And there's like a sort of like 30 centimeter dent. Um, there is also a damage to the reversing sensor, oh, but it right. hasn't actually physically been affected. Oh, as, yeah. Like cracking around the housing. But, yeah. Uh, oh, sad. It's very stressful, really, yeah. having a car you care about that much. There is an appeal to having. <laughs> yeah. But having the 07 Landy. What's also fun about that is that tonight is a, a schlog is going out, which actually shows off the Tesla a bit, so you can see it undamaged. <laughs> a moment before. No, full well. Though. There'll be an update schlog. Weekend. He got dented. Mm. Which just sucks, but yeah. Yeah. It will be in the schlog. <clears throat> Hashtag first world problem. Yeah, well, so was Jimmy Savile. Oh. Well, I mean, <laughs> well. Very much a problem. <laughs> For the British establishment more than anything. <laughs> Uh oh, this guy we've been using to oh. access the common people turns out to be a monster. Like Prince Charles, right? You know, for people who don't know much about this, Jimmy Savile was like a radio DJ in, in like, started in the 60s, yes. I'm guessing. Um, and then went on to become more and more of like one of these like national media presences, you know, like like the Anton Deck or the but, but supercharged, really, a very sort of Pied Piper-like following, especially amongst the, the large working class of Britain, um, which people like Margaret Thatcher and Prince Charles require the favour of in order to have an operating country. So these... Stumpy. These people... Thanks, Stumpy, for Thank 10 more much. gift subs. Amazing. Thank you very much. They pay um, you too much. Because he loves hearing about Jimmy Savile, clearly. Um, <laughs> basically, these, 
these people would use this guy who turns out to be a serial abuser and all round monster of a human being yeah. um, to access influence and influence the, the common people ultimately. So like where, where these institutions are like completely out of touch with the average human being within the country, they need to maintain their position and relevance by um, influencing the large, large mass of working class or commoners or whatever you want to call them in the UK. Back out. Um, and then they found out that the guy they chose to do that, literally things like asking him to advise, uh, Prince Charles was asking Jimmy Savile to advise on um, speeches and like where best to invest. And I, honestly, I think he was probably doing it with good intentions, Prince Charles. He, he does have a load of money to give to charities and shit. And he wants to know where to best spend it. That's fair yeah, enough. Not for these but charities, it, though. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not but like, uh, yeah, but um, yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy to see that these people were in correspondence with someone who went on to do such horrible things and was doing such horrible things at the time. It is quite mind blowing. Morty's mind blowers. Morty's mind blowers. I wish they could suck that one out of my head. <laughs> are we, what are we doing? Doing the, the we, trolley we game? Are gonna figure out the problems? Um, trolley trolley problem. problems. I'm pinging uh, Alex oh. Turner. Oh yeah. Try yeah. and get a key. Nice. So I am not giving any money to Yogs. Dear God. Wow. We give enough, don't we? Do we? Yeah, <laughs> probably. No. We give enough. Yeah. I'm only joking. Um, I'll read out some subbies because I haven't done that yet. <clears throat> Thank you to the following people in order of how much I like them. Dave Topia, eight. I don't like you very much. 21 months. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like you a lot more than an unsubbed. Jesus Christ, I hate those people. Anyway, Mr. Oh. Can't Stop, 10 months. Thank you for subbing on Prime. Always Molasses, 28 months, four month streak. Giving Ross Peru all as a sub nice. message. Sweet. I don't know if that Give worked. Me all. Did it work? No, of course not. No. Fat Boy Fat UK, <laughs> thanks for 82 months. Holy shit. Two more months and it will be seven years. That's insane. So 84 months, seven year marker. Jesus. Big. big. Ruin. 82 months as well. Two more months until you're a seven year. -er. A mummy covered in chocolate and nuts was discovered in Egypt. Archaeologists believe it may be Pharaoh Rocher. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Ross, are you going to buy the. It's called Trolley Problem Inc. That's the one you want to get. Whoa. whoa. Well, oh, do I? Am I getting it? Whoa, whoa. Well, oh, wait, no, no, sorry, Trot's hosting I'm today, isn't he? Sorry, yeah. messaged, um, so messaged he's Alex Turner. Oh, what, and asked for a key? Descendant he's of the, Will Turner. He's the key oh, guy. right, that's why you were talking about being cheapskates. I get it now. Yeah. Sorry, go on. How much is it? I don't know. Have Nine a look. Pounds. Uh, Elksy Moose, thanks for 24 months on Prime. After Eight two pounds. years of subbing, I finally released from Australia. Finally, been released from Australia and get to catch a live stream whilst in the UK. It's nice to be home, boys. Nice. Wow. Welcome nice. back. Thanks well, for doing your though, time in it, Australia. Is it though, Australia versus England? It's a tough one at the moment. <laughs> Meh. Less hot. I guess it's, it's getting nicer now. Less animals to kill yeah. you. You I come guess. back at a good time, actually. You spent the whole yeah. crappy winter over there and then coming back to this. Lovely. Yeah. Ben Riley, 95, thanks for 19 months. Happy Monday, thank you. Leo, 64, pard, thanks for 26 months. Copper J, thanks for eight months, saying some more filthy, tainted Amazon money for you. Thanks very much. Much appreciated there. Sweet. Thank Vaxel, you. thanks for 10 months on Prime. Jumblesaurus Flex, nice, nine months. Subscription Baby, nice, moving on quickly. JSKE3, thanks for 13 months. Peter Tate, thanks for 21 months, saying hi, have a good weekend. <laughs> Good Sorry, week. that sounds exactly like one of those songs that you have to say in a, like, do you say Peter Tate? Peter like, Tate. Yeah. Peter it Tate. just sounds like somebody's trying to make you say something. I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, go on. Peter Tate. Um, Peter Tate. Have a good week. Big uppity up. Thank you. Thank Nonstop you. C. Thanks for subbing on Prime. Joshy Pop 11. Thanks for 59 months saying wreck fest blocks while well, we pick trolley problem. The masses have picked. Uh, but maybe after we can do the whatever the next one was. In the poll, yeah. Why don't we just drive? What well, maybe for the stream we should just drive to Portishead and back again. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a hell of a <laughs> trip. Giggles. It's a real nice trip. Oh, we're here now. Let's turn around. Oh, we got all Let's the cams on again. Smith's uh, Tesla to switch to. 
yeah multi-cam <laughs> setup built in see if we can set up as a trap car get more people to reverse into me in car parks yeah oh, neon fuck. tech 19 months i've been watching since i was a child now i'm a childish adult you boys remain as lovely as always thank you neon tech that's very kind and also a little much. scary because you're aging oh, oh uh, that puts aging a... kind of sucks doesn't it yeah <clears throat> Do I still have the Hon shirt I was wearing when I fell off the Segway in LA? I pay you a lot of money for that T-shirt. I'm talking four figures. Yeah, well, I do I mean, have um, that shirt. We should put that in the, in the auction. <laughs> should we start auctioning old T-shirts as well? Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. All our old hat gear, but the the <laughs> ones that we had. <laughs> our own personal batch of hat films collection. Yeah, and they're exclusive because you can't get them anymore. You can't like, get a fresh one. And also, um, like the wine or cheese stuff and the golden hand of truth, they are oh, in pristine condition. Yeah, I've got them stored. Wine. Um all the gold editions. I don't know if, yeah, I'm almost hesitant to do that. But yeah, I kinda want a legacy of all my stuff. In a um, way. In a way. So I can burn them. Should we be buried in all of them? I want to be buried with them. And if you're both still alive, I'd like you to be buried with me. Okay. Wait. We're alive, you're dead. You're going to be my guardians for the afterlife. Fucking hell. Okay. That's a big question to ask. No, I'm, I, I like that sort of shit, to be honest. I'm Whoever pretty sure first. we did a, like a verbal agreement when we first yeah. set up Hat Films Limited. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, no, I think that we, we should do, like, whoever dies first, the other two have to be buried in, in like, in Same the pyramid. Yeah, we'll Same build way. a pyramid together sometime. You lock the other whoever two in. <laughs> Whoever dies first gets to lay and rest in the pyramid, and the other two have to be buried with them. Yeah. <laughs> and I to stay in there yep. until dead. Yeah. You're guarding. H. Moulton, uh, thanks for 26 yes. months. Markalite, thanks again for that um, tip. Much appreciated. Happy Cow, 46, 28 months, saying, Sup, boys, 28 months of wasted money. Here is a question worth my money, though. Will you filth ever, ever return to No Man's Sky? It's just one of those games that feels like it's endless, but endlessly unmotivated. If that I makes mean, sense. I would like to give it another go because I've heard it's had a big update ages. recently, yeah. very recently, <laughs> which is um, the the old catchphrase. But apparently, there <laughs> yeah, is a lot. There has stuff. been several updates, and um, yeah, I'd like to give it a go. I just I felt like yeah. directionless. I just felt like yeah, that's the thing. What am I doing here? Like, it's good that there's like more. You can build stuff now. You can like you know collect a lot more stuff. And it's actually what like does stuff but like i don't know there's something about games which offer a lot of things that kind of almost seem daunting to mm. take, undertake i don't know i feel like with big open world like endless generated planets and stuff there needs to be some sort of like something holding my hand along the way like a progression a little, system yeah. or an upgrade system or something that i'm like wanting to attain rather than mm -hmm. just the exploring part of it because as a part of me that's like this is all just random math making all this stuff yeah like i'm not going to find any I'm, bespoke cool things out there yeah and unlike something like minecraft minecraft where you can be more creative and more i don't know you can you can kind of create your own worlds quite quite comfortably there i feel like no man's sky doesn't give me that same buzz but i'm i'm happy to try again mm. and see what new, new stuff they've added we will return to seven days to die. Well. It's ready to go, in fact. Um, we're just waiting on whether we should do it with someone else or not. All right. Well, let's see if we can do it this week. Yeah. yeah. Let's, see if we can get... let's ping that other person. Uh, Guppe, thanks for four months. Who needs to do a dissertation work when I can watch the boiks? Damn straight. Put all your work away. In fact, if you're working from home, close down all the tabs. Just keep this one open. You're not doing work anyway, let's be honest. Fuchsia193, thanks for 18 months. That's very kind. Um, Stumpy Goblin, thanks again for your 10 gifties. Much appreciated. If you're sat in your office at work, close all your tabs, put us full screen, and if you've got speakers, put it on for someone else to enjoy. Come on. Um, at Time Sound, thanks for 32 months, saying likey. Mm, me likey. <laughs> James OB, thanks again for that 45 months and, uh, you know, talk to me. Four figures. Four figures. How much do you want for this Hon t shirt? 
Oh my god, that No Man's Sky rant was from 2016. It's crazy, isn't it? It's been mm. out a long time. Six years. But they've stuck to it. Fair play. We were just saying how empty it was. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, like... it is really. Yeah. X, what could be then, X? Then. Thanks for 75 months. Holy shit. Saying Chocolate Boyks. And then finally, Sonic Speeder 201. 10 months on Prime. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, I've not had a response from Alex, so we're going to have to buy this oh, goddamn Yogscast game. How are you going to get the £8 and 9 pence back? Unbelievable. This is the kind of experience we get. No, oh, no. Uh, all right. Trolley problem. <laughs> I can't <believe> £8. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Ugh. Uh. Spending our own money is also 10% off. <sighs> Oops. How did the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim's anniversary upgrade get in there? <laughs> Take that out of my cart. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Another Elder Scrolls. It's not, very, it's not though, is it? That's the problem. It's the same one. No. It's the same one. So like, but the I anniversary also, upgrade has integrated all these mods that purchase. community people have made. <laughs> has it? Yeah. Know, that sounds kind of interesting. It's interesting, it but I hope the mod makers get the money. Um, PayPal. I honestly did watch. There was someone on YouTube that I watched because it came up as recommended for some reason. And it's yeah. one of those videos that's done the rounds because that's got like almost a million views, and all their other ones don't have anywhere near that amount. Um, but it was just the best cinematic experience, just promoting the Skyrim anniversary upgrade. <laughs> like they've done, done bespoke shots for every single upgrade just to like showcase there's the new armor sets where they've got like a guy running through a forest in slow motion wearing the <laughs> armor and stuff it's just insane the amount of effort that they put into it it's very impressive um sorry I oh to... shit what? the um i just saw the new f1 is going to have vr in it oh nice f1 it. Awesome. Like, it hasn't had it for eight like everyone's been asking for it for mm -hmm. ages that's awesome. um, that is great. I just I was looking for that just now, and yeah, bam, VR. That's VR. good. Craig will be pleased. He will, won't he? He probably likes VR. He's got the old Sim stuff. Oh, Whipper snapper. Tired game. Uh, How do you play Among Us VR? Was it first person? What do you mean? What well, Among Us VR? Oh, yeah, Among Us VR actually looks all right. It's in first person, yeah. So you're literally, okay. like, skulking around the corridors and stuff, trying to do all your little mini-games. Do you think there'll be much appetite for a VR Vomit Olympics where people try to design the most vomit-inducing <laughs> yeah. experiences? I think that already exists. people it's compete just... to be the last one to vomit, and then they get a prize. The thing is, the content's already there. We just need to literally... Curate it. it, yeah. Curate yeah. it, yeah. and then set that challenge. <laughs> That's, the That's the video. And then we'll drive you around in the back of a car whilst doing the game as well. So your feeling of your body is like all off. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> no way. Even spinning on the chair the other day was was bad enough for me. <laughs> it's awful, isn't it? I'm just so bad at it. I get so, <laughs> I get so sick. Oh, yeah, see how it looks pretty cool. The thing is about. Among Us and its success. I feel like its success was down to its simplicity in terms of like, it's easy to record, it was easy to mm. watch, but a group of people in Discord and that was it. It's good for collabing on Twitch as well, yeah. I don't know if VR has that same value, but I mean, it's sure fun to play mm. if you've got VR. Yeah, I mean, F1 especially, I didn't realize it's only out two months time, it's pretty good. F1 yeah. would be a really good game for this, like where you could all just sit on your desk, like, like you would normally at a desk or something with the headsets on and... Yeah, sweet. No, really, really cool to try that. You're Maybe pretty cool to try that. There. What? <laughs> One of you is going to get a text. Yeah, I just got an email saying we changed our password. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. It's just like, it's a security thing. You're going to get a code now. And I'd like you to copy and paste that into chat along with your phone number. Mine says dog dick one. Is that actually my phone? Um, okay. It's either you or Smith. I got it. I'm going to throw Put it in, in the bin. Just hats, if you would. Hand, I'm going to write it on a note and throw it in a bin. 
Why would you write mm -hmm. it first? Just for the just the theatrics of it. All right, here we go. Pickaxe. 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 Sorry, what website do we go for this? Pickaxe. Pickaxe. How, How do about, I join this using the code? Does this sound good? Pickaxe. Pick Pickaxe. Pick Pickaxe. <laughs> Pickaxe. 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 We pickaxe. could do it, guys. If you want some variations pickaxe. for the Pickaxe podcast uh, platform, pickaxe. we can do any of these. Pickaxe. <laughs> wow. Pickaxe. 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 Pig ass. Pigs, pig ass. Hold on, I need to turn my echo up. Of course you oh, do. Oh, yeah, of course. Give him some time. Pig ass. Nice. All right, I've got the game. No, you haven't. I don't no. believe you. Oh, Are I you going to broadcast no. it on Discord for I us? I shall do that. Sweet. Um, it's probably worth recording, isn't it? No. Something, something different, something new, no. something borrowed, something goo. What the fuck are you saying? Yeah, I know. Weird, isn't it? Go on, capture this window. You can do it. Yes. <sighs> I thought those were the interface sounds, but it's just Smith popping with an echo. Yeah, no, that's... Yeah. It's weird, weird, weird. It sounds like somebody's playing ping pong. pong. Does it sound like somebody's playing ping pong? No. No. Right, yeah, I'll still I'll keep working on it. Does it sound like someone's playing Oh, oh there is a co -op. Real? Here you can set more that discussion quickly. time and multiple controllers. How does one join a game? Is it through a browser? No, you just No, watch. wait, no, we're just going to watch you. Yeah, sorry, I forgot that. I'm going to go back, actually. Oh, it doesn't allow me to go back. Okay. Oh. We start the game. Apologies. You should apologize. Did Alex just You're reply to me? Did he really? Son of a bitch. I yes, I think. just bought I it. I just went through the fucking... Jesus. That's eight well, pounds. I'll use never it for see one it of us or something. If we want to do this another time. Indeed. Oh. Right. Left. Um. Oh, we can fully customize our experience. Let's let's do Twitch mode. Wow. It's a little worrying, isn't it? What does that mean, music-wise? Is there? Copywritten music. Bloody music. Okay. Twitch mode, streamer choice or viewer choice. Okay, the viewers get to choose stuff? Yeah. Should I do it that way? I'm a little worried. Yeah. If it's easy to set up. Keep it stream of choice. Okay. Sure. Otherwise, we're not really doing anything, I think. It's literally just down to our audience making all the decisions. Okay. All right. I'm ready to start recording. Uh, are you streaming that oh. on Discord? There. You see an envelope? Oh, I'm Jace. I see it. I see the envelope. Rolling audio. Rolling video. Dog dick. Trolley problem. Trolley problem. Rolling audio. Rolling video. This is an art attack. <laughs> okay. I'm having an art attack. <laughs> How do I get rid of this little thing? Um, 
What little thing? I'm just trying to fill screen my thing. Get rid of. There we go. Hide members. Nice. Sweet. Excellent. Let's do a mark. Three, two, one. Mark. Mark. Hello and welcome back to Hat Gaming. Today we've got something very special for you. A Yogg's published game called Trolley Problem. We thought we'd do this on our own whim. We weren't asked to do this. And I even bought it. It's our own whim. This How is, could you? There, there's some form of Twitch integration. We do have a live audience right now. And uh, I don't know how much integration there is. Oh, no. Adult themes, guys. Language, sexual content, horror, or show sexual. Mm. Choices sexual. matter. So please take okay, your time. Okay, take our time. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below, showing you understand okay. and agree to endorse every decision you make. Could do the stylus. Oh, I've just realized something. I'm going to be probably recording this Discord, Discord on the chat thing. It's okay. Yeah. As long as you've got your audio separate. Yeah, I think that's... What do you mean? My mic? Is there and a... Yeah. My... Just yeah, your mic. mic separate. What about it's yours? Just... Are you going to have a clean... I guess you'll have got a, clean... a clean mic. That's all right then. And game sound? Game sound will be on my desktop, won't it? So they can just... So Craig can just cut chat, my chat channel out of this, essentially. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. What do you think cool. of my signature? I think it's really um, clear. It's spelled correctly, and there's a smiley face, kind of. Yeah. So it's all good. You've ticked all the boxes for me. <laughs> I only signed a box. A tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. Right. All our employees must show three core values: okay. responsibility, integrity, and respect. Well, we're out. Mind, let's start your God. training. Right, we're going to be taking, making some pretty rough decisions today, guys. Okay. Oh, there's a twitch meter. There it is. So you can see what our audience decided. So like the tomatometer. There's a trolley barreling down the railway tracks. Okay. On the tracks uh -oh. are five people unable oh, to no. move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However... You notice there is a person on the other track. Just one. What do you do? Pull the lever. <sighs> what do we well, do? I mean, you would pull the lever. One you versus save five. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you kind of the want greater the good. One. Yeah. What if they're First, all bad people though, and that one person? We don't know. Is on the verge of curing that cancer. Could have, it could be a gang who's being a gang of four people being at one person on a train track, and we don't know. But I would pull the lever because one person is it's oh. morally acceptable that one person so should die that. over five. What if that one and person this... is the one that set up this whole oh. trolley problem in the first place and they're just well, like they're, gleefully they're smiling, saying, they're hit me. Death. Okay. Well, do, well, what, do, what do you want to do, Trot? Do you want to pull the lever? I'm just throwing in some devil's advocate discussion. Okay. I would well, I want? would probably pull the lever and... Uh, I didn't make mm -hmm. sure those five people die. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that one person is um, General Yogscast himself. Okay. Off they go. So that's what's going to happen. That person is being hit. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, mate. Usually we five people now have trauma. To kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just oh, think a little more before acting. Should have. Okay. We did think quite a long time. We left it till quite late. Yeah, it's quite a low kill count. We should bump those numbers up. 68% of players worldwide agree with us. Whereas oh. the other decided to just kill five. But would it have killed them? Is that what they're? Is it going to throw us out like some random stuff where it's like, oh, they all jumped out of the way just in time. You made the right choice. Like what? I don't think there's we any consequences it? there. We, okay. we don't really know. If it ain't broke... Don't fix it. Got an achievement though, so killed a person. Oh, Got an achievement. Fair play. Will focus fair play. On the first okay. Responsibility. Here's okay. Polly. Hi, Polly. She's five years old. Hello. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams put myself of looking left. after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Oh, the oh. stream paused. Apologies. Oh, oh, it's back now. Weird. Are you good now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so... Oh, 
Um, Here we go. A trolley is heading towards oh. another five people. <laughs> You're next to a lever. Oh, if you no. Pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sandpit. Oh. Okay. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. I don't think that... I, honestly, I know it's dark, but I don't think anything changes None here. of that matters, no. Pull the I, I don't think that hospital's like, going to serve anyone. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it's, it's hospital for ants. Well, is that it a hospital is for hospital ants? For ants. <laughs> it's definitely a hospital If anything, for ants, she yeah. deserves some punishment. Wow, really oh, you yeah. stupid Not, hospital builder. You should have scaled up. Bigger. <laughs> this is the problem. Yeah. You should have scaled up. Uh, no, I don't think anything changes. I mean, this is the, ideally, when you were th thinking about the first decision, you were imagining that they were a person with dreams and ambitions anyway, kid mm -hmm. or not. Yeah. Yes. The reality is, there's five people there. Five anything. of those people could each be designing hospitals. We don't know. It's also mm -hmm. suggesting we have preference for certain kinds of people over others, it and does. that other people deserve life more than others. Mm -hmm. Which I guess, in a way, some people do because there's well, yeah, evil I mean, if, people okay, out there. So there's five terrorists and then there's five doctors. Which ones are you going to kill? Wow. Which one's going to get Maybe me a the discount? Terrorists used my to favorite. Be doctors. Maybe they used to be doctors and now they turned terrorists because of political Maybe issues were... in the country. Yeah, exactly. Maybe they, they <laughs> became a terrorists. You kill a child. Oh, because of, you know, yeah. political Games injustices. don't do that enough. On being no. responsible. The dictionary definition to be There's the no primary kids in GTA. cause of something <laughs> and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? Um, I don't know. I mean... Mm. No, we should be not. We should be. I'm sure in in lauded as a hero. Decisions in your life, you may have been responsible without knowing it. Oh, people weren't you know? so uh, sure about this one. Fifty-five percent plays oh. worldwide would kill five people f to save that little girl. Just because they know a bit about her. That's that is interesting. It's interesting. There, there's we, empathy they, they there now. Anything, Those yeah, five no, people are unknown. Previous five. We have an yeah. empathetic part of humanity where as soon as we hear something about it and we can engage with it we care more about it mm. those five people yeah, are still it anonymous takes, it takes over from logic what if the rest were five children as well building their own well, little hospitals what if we had to shoot them ourselves with guns it's a very different situation mm. we do what ifs all day they only told us about one of them yeah i feel like they should Just tell us about the, the about no phones. you shouldn't well, be no you should you got to act with the information you have i think it. don't create your own integrity. quandaries yeah answer the question you see in front of you he is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't okay. really know anything else about This is going to be another train situation. Then. <laughs> you see, he's got a phobia of trains. What the hell is he doing on a train track, then? Now, I don't know. The it's, about, it's about to be justified, I think. We're on a bridge with Tyrone. Watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone <laughs> off the bridge, blocking its path. How does that block it? Do you push Tyrone off I the feel bridge? like this is very much a just like, do you hate fat people like we do? <laughs> I feel, yeah. Like, yeah. Would you like to indulge in the idea of pushing oh, a fat guy off a bridge to stop a train? Wouldn't that be fun? So this is this is removing just the... This is you pushing someone. This is you actively like choosing to kill someone, but without the inanimate object of a lever to kind of distance yourself emotionally yeah. from it. I You're still do mean, effectively doing the same thing, right? You don't, you don't know that it's going to kill him either. And so I think realistically, you would be hands off in this situation because I don't know. Would you? Would, I mean, you don't know it's going to stop it. Well, he won't be terrified soon. He'd be dead. Yeah, I don't think you would do this for that reason, no. actually, Ross. That's very true. I think that even if you knew, yeah, you'd have to know that it would stop it here. Yeah. yeah. And, you, and also, yeah, like realistically, those people are fucking around on the train tracks. You're not going to kill a random pup, like train watcher just because. I don't know. I, I feel like I wouldn't push a guy to their death. Yeah. Because you don't know it's going to do no, it. I agree. Trot, this, switch it to watch from bridge. I'd say switch a. it to watch from bridge. Me and Ross both think that. So. But then I just, think I'm kind of thinking, is this game, like, this will guarantee do it. I don't know mm. what the context is here. Well, yeah. Don't overthink like, it. Think, just, think, think, just, if, you, if you were there in that situation. I've just seen oh, the ambulance arrive. Okay. I believe Tyrone is oh, just Oh, the stress. All right, okay. Of course, yeah. Right, not because he's a fat person. Uh, it probably is, actually. Yeah, I think they're insinuating that heart disease... No, they, they added in the he has a phobia of trains at the end mm. because they couldn't then go, oh, he had a heart attack in the end anyway. Yeah. So I, I really think that's... Something pretty, you would never even know that would happen. Pretty poorly veiled. I mean, yeah. I happen to think that you should try and be very healthy because, you know, 
you have one life and live it. But I also disagree with what I think this is as well. Um, well, yeah, do you kill the large man at the side of the train tracks? There's a phobia of trains, but it's near the train track. Yeah. By choice. Doesn't mean he deserves to be pushed in front of Exactly. All right, if there's a dog dying, I'm killing as many people as possible to save that dog. God, I don't want to think about it. trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. Dying. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Again, like, do we know it's going to die? Like, can I take it to yes. the vet? Yes. No, you know it's going to die. This is, you it's can't, don't overcomplicate it. This is, assume all of the things required to answer this question are that. Yes. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't kill, I mean, <laughs> It's bad to leave a dog to die yeah. alone, but I also just couldn't just like go over to a dog that looks like it's dying and start. Yeah, what, the, how would you, what's your yeah. method? It's a difficult. Uh, I like, imagine strangle or like boot to the head. What what would you do? It is the I am legend actually. scenario as well. Yeah. yeah. No, I would unfortunately be too much of a coward and leave it to die. Yes. I think yeah, I couldn't go through with it. Mm -hmm. As much as I think it would be for the greater good. I mean, the realistic I thing, I would actually do it. pick it up and take it somewhere or like take it to someone who could help. Yeah, but, but that's not an we option, don't get so. that option. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't leave it there to die alone. Stop Instead, it. I'll stomp on its head until it's dead. Nice one. You I'd say rather... it as soft as you want. <laughs> like, really. I would kill Tyrone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get Tyrone and push him onto the dog. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> well, you're not going to get fire in life. Having a phobia of trains. You're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Who killed the dog? Polly it's from the first, from the second question. Yeah. Uh, came through. Like, turns out Polly was a psychopath that had been killing dogs by slowly bleeding them out as a train track. That's why she was there. <laughs> Just she <laughs> dumping dead, half dead <laughs> yeah. dogs in train tracks. I'm glad we killed her. <laughs> right. If you they really want to put the onus on you, we'll the passerby. The guy walking past what's happening. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. More kids on tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Okay. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the okay. trolley line, even though it's signs loaded. warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquent? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, in this situation it's one of us, isn't it? Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. This is no, tough, let, isn't it? Let the fucking worker die. It's one versus it's five, the, yeah. It's the same it's at the, the beginning. the same question. This is about what five people die. matters. No, don't kill the trespass. <laughs> um, I mean, if that's what you want, Trot. You've got the yeah, controls, but I but feel I... like we have to do this democratically. Okay. I, mean, I think we have to uphold the law. one versus five, the realist. <laughs> mm. the we let these in. five delinquents in. More people are going to get injured from train incidences. Yeah, but they could grow up to be doctors, which apparently is the only kind of redeeming factor of... No, they well, only. Yeah. Well, this is like this is this is like meritocracy kind of shit. Yeah, where like people who go on to do it like, but it's not real. It's not reality. And it's like the reason that kids are delinquents and run onto railroad tracks is because yeah. of their upbringing and their environment they're raised in, which is what if like I slipped on track? It's me. I'm on the track. I slipped. I'm your coworker. I'm like, they've chose to be here. I fell and my foot is trapped on this. Uh, <laughs> then I I, I check you out. I am legend style. He's gonna yeah. He jumped onto the track. <laughs> Throws Tyrone on as well. We're all there. Co workers dead. I'm just, I'm just going through choking out people. <laughs> all right, then I guess you're you didn't kill a co worker, though. It's the... I'll run these up you're a murderer. And see what the Who the fuck cares? Think. There's plenty of people I've worked with that I'd happily see hit by a train. <laughs> <laughs> it's five versus one. Sorry. I mean, it's yeah, five kids with a future, and you're working this job, mate. Sorry. It would, it would be me, wouldn't it? It'd be me on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
How did you get down there? I saw a dog. Dear sir, I saw a dog dying and he went to well, smash his head in. <laughs> I thought I'd leave it up to the train people. instead of I me. Like I layered it still being body over the, over the track. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. The 315 would from like London will be through momentarily. I won't let a train do it. It's not humane. It's a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. Okay. The best laid plans go astray. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. Thank you. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. Yeah, we get it. Well done. THC is stoic. <laughs> He's really shitting on this game. <laughs> Yogg's published. <laughs> that doesn't mean I have to like it. No, we should, we should pretend to like it. No, I'm not pretending. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I, do, I do like this so far. It's good. It's fun to do Today, moral flexing, we'll but there is some dubious... A uh... young male has come in from a car accident and okay. urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? Um... Arguably, he's a young man. If, um, yeah. Yeah, I more mean... Yeah. yeah. Uh, as harsh as it is, I think that's I, how they would probably look at it. I'd like to think that a lot of elderly men would say give it to the young man as well. Yeah. Like, uh, hopefully, yeah. it's um, that elderly man gets yeah. told that. Yeah. And it's them that makes but the, the decision. But the young man's a child murderer. So, which one, do you, which one is it? <laughs> the elder, elderly man's donated many, many years... <clears throat> at a kid's hospital. This procedure is actually reverses his aging by 40 years. His ways. That's true. The young man was about to kill everyone in the hospital just in, the young male <laughs> before his heart gave out. <laughs> but now he's got the strongest heart ever. Here we go. Sorry, there's fucking news just in. He's, he was drunk. He was drunk driving. Oh, they're trying to change our opinion. Yeah. I still don't think that would change. Do you know? If he no. killed someone... Here we go. It's news just in again. He just drove a school bus off a cliff. You made an excellent choice. Well done. Thank you. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh. Oh, wait. Did you save the young guy? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah. That's... Man, people are really indecisive, aren't they? Well, they've really got, yeah, I think it's the emotional idea. Also, I guess you don't want to be the judged for making like a, staff member has their hands a wrong so decision, right? To, go out on the ward and help the sick, to be quite gross, pragmatic decaying. about things. Remember, temperance, I wonder how many people changed their mind once they heard that he had alcohol and it was he driving. Well, I mean, it wasn't that long ago where um, that guy who had a pig heart um, oh, yeah. Was a, uh, previously commit crimes, right? Illegal. You um, he did die actually soon after. You will need mm. to look into but there was a drama about that as well. I was like, did he deserve did he it? Euthanize. Um, yeah. It's their choice. I'm just the one administering, to, administering their <clears> choice. I think... Um, this is a lot about whether you're legally allowed to, because you're going to get fucked. Like, and also, like, are they of a state of mind? Because it's not, it isn't illegal, it is, it's illegal. And you are, I mean, you're basically just taking a bullet by euthanizing, and that's entirely your mm. decision. But I, I would probably say the legal treatment, because otherwise it's just going to be years of I think legal shit, probably going to give us and an you extra won't be able to save other lives. Of I think... of suicide survivors regret attempting it. Oh, that is that true. This is the thing I was saying about state of mind, if they're not of the right mm. state of mind if they have a debilitating disease that's only going to progress worse and they're going to have a terrible life as a result yeah, of it exactly. again we've got no context here they're undercover so, so maybe legal treat this could be a sting operation legal treatment until we know <laughs> the context then essentially great, basically really great to context basically yeah. I, I love the twist at the end there what is there undercover <laughs> you were gonna kill me, you bastard! Uh, so, so sorry, mate. You, uh, well, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to now. You've made, you've made my decision for me. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass you to a higher up doctor. I I can't make this decision. Keeping them alive and in pain is what the majority of gods would have wanted. Well, yeah. Playing the wrong <laughs> game. I see you. Okay. Like they've got a little receipt of all our killings. But slower in changing. Uh, yeah, I think most of us are in favour of voluntary euthanasia, though. Of course, yeah. But, um, 
You have a choice to it make being illegal would, would I don't know, potentially take that doctor out of work for years. Absolutely. No, the, yeah, and with, and that stuff, just like, well, with that context in mind, I would, I would make the legal treatment decision definitely as well. Yeah. I but, think, yeah. Well. Uh, you have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveller comes in Jesus. for a routine check. <laughs> Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs that's to save the five in desperate That is, <laughs> that's that is exactly what that murder. Is. That is, you found a healthy person, killed them, and then saved five dying people. I mean, yeah. I would probably uh, say uh, in a minute, I'd leave there, them because... Is there going to be well, yeah. another caption in a minute that says, you're in China, by the way. <laughs> Brackets, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I'm, interested to see what they, I'm interested to see what their uh, twist is here. It's not fair on that tourist to just. What? But then again, neither's the trolley problem, to the train kill problem. Kill a first random place. person checking their routine. But I'd still push Tyrone off that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's Tyrone! Oh, fuck! Fucking Tyrone. Let's go to trains, are you, mate? Do you want to Have a closer maybe? look. Is his life worth it? <laughs> We we did just straight up genuinely. We are murderers there. It's like, yeah, no, I decided to be a murderer for that one. Look, I've got yeah. a dead dog here in Tyrone. Uh, <laughs> can you use these organs? <laughs> Fucking hell, Tyrone. That's an anti-aircraft rifle. Um, Do you have to get, like, permission from the original, like, author of these yeah, ideas? Five people died I mean, how does um, that work? Well, it was just kind of like... Looks like <clears throat> one was researching kind of just into fair game. vaccines. I think a lot of them are probably famous psychologists uh, yeah. for experiments. Okay. So, yeah, it's probably in the public domain. I think you should reference them ideally, but it's, no one's going to come after you. Yeah. You can't make an omelette without breaking It does reference eggs. them, though. You have been promoted mm -hmm. yet again. Oh, oh yes. Now nice. run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. Nice. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. Okay. Do you start oh, baby. the vaccination program? Here comes authoritarian Smithy. Site problem. Clinical trial data suggests uh -oh. <laughs> that one in five children severely ill. It's quite a high risk. How That's one virus? in five is <laughs> insanely high. Like, think of the reasons we had lockdown because of the percentage yeah. of people that had COVID. <clears throat> there was nowhere yeah. near one in five. Yeah, I mean, culturally and politically, it'd be impossible to push through a, a ratio like that. But in my dream utopia, we, I would do it. But it's up to you two. I think that it's only severely ill. And if this um, virus is enough to kill people, severely ill is better than killing people, even if it affects Tell one in five, in right? Of a hospital and an anti um, <laughs> and an anti -vaxxer. I guess, um, yeah, severely ill doesn't mean death. Severely Ill Will that have dead, ongoing consequences? That, like three and if three and one, uh, three and five die of it, and we vaccinate, and then one in five get severely ill, you're still uh, succeeding. Uh, you're, you're, yeah. Yeah, you raise a good point. You raise a good point. Like we don't want to. The kill, vaccine like, should people. work, right? Yeah. The, because as far as, far as and we're aware, a vaccine is needed because the the disease itself is far worse. Exactly. So you're exchanging people dying for one in five getting ill. Really, it's not. Unfortunately, we did that. kill that person that was waiting for an organ transplant that was going to make oh, the perfect boy. vaccine. You have angered those parents. <laughs> a lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Oh, sure nice. The same person. Nice. So, so far, uh, there's a thousand severely ill children because of our decision. Mm -hmm. We've killed 13 people. Oh, illness is worse than vaccine, right? Sorry. Go on. We killed a dog and a child. <laughs> and we kept one person alive against their will. You're welcome. Yeah. But we didn't strangle the dog or stomp its head. We just watched it get Your killed. Hospital mm. is getting That's noticed. different. You didn't have to watch that. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. Okay. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. Stoic. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. 
without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? What was that? What was that? that was weird. <laughs> Okay, so you start um, research because you'd want to improve the chances of a I breakthrough. I think so, yeah. I would probably say start research as well. Although there is the argument that if this is like a contagious disease and you're... It doesn't say that though. So no, it's just like, that's I true. Like yeah, I'm making assumptions. Just a, assess it based on what we're seeing, I guess, mm -hmm. for the most yeah. part. Yeah, absolutely right. start research. Just um, something, in the previous question, apparently said that the vaccine would make one in five people more ill than the oh. virus. So that meant that the virus, uh, we then have to presume, we then have to presume the virus isn't lethal. In which case I would have changed my answer. I'm sure you probably would too. It, it, if it isn't an argument about preserving life, I'm, I would say don't vaccinate because yeah, it's just gonna make people more oh. sick. It's only about preserving life that I think that vaccines um, are necessary. Yeah. And also preserving quality of life, not just any form of life. Because if it's going to fuck you up, then so let's double read everything. Smart move. Let's just yeah. let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. What do you mean, let like others? What well, others that are more informed and have better solutions? Yeah, we got data yeah. for them. <laughs> yeah, I think we fucking will. <laughs> Take that fucking wry look off your face. They sound like the Worms Clan Wars. Ding, dingle. Does. Pinklebert. Tara Pinkleton. Tara Pinkleton. Okay, we've got an envelope to it. Oh, you've got physically, yeah. yeah. I do have to click name. that. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work Yay. and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the oh, open no. position here in our artificial <laughs> intelligence division. Watch out, Tyro, mate. In this role, Tezza. you will help to develop the next generation of pushing robots. Cars. He's no longer got a phobia of trains. He's now yeah. just got a phobia of electric cars. <laughs> Is there one behind me? <laughs> Here we go. Well, la -dee -da, another promotion. Ooh. Now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. Nice. First things first, your artificial intelligence needs some direction. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? <sighs> oh, God. Um... Do we uh, kill another kill kid? Child. Yeah, 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 kill the kid. Now, what's your reasoning for that? Um, 2v1, we have no context as to how old uh, or how much potential the passengers have. The pa one of the, there could be a kid in the passenger seat. Uh, equally, I feel as though... There isn't, there's you, two you passengers. Have, you have, as in, no, but one of the passengers could be a child as well. Has as much right to live as anyone else. Yeah, exactly. So it has as much right to live as anyone else. So if you have two rights, they make a wrong child in the middle of the fucking road that shouldn't have been there. Sorry, kid. Accidents happen. It'd be better if the you put this driver was more alert and was able to break mm, instead of swerving better. off. I mean, if they're basing this artificial <clears throat> intelligence system off of us, I don't think it has a right to be called artificial intelligence. It's artificial sort of dimness. Well, we have to train it, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's doomed to fail. It's doomed from the start. It's using yeah. us as a, as a, as a decision Terrible. system. There is a bigger issue here. If, how that's how long we took. Know that something in the road is <laughs> has to react in milliseconds. Do we have good enough data sets? Well, yeah, Currently, obviously. A lot of that's AI the problem with all of these questions. White men. Okay. Yeah. Necessity is the mother of invention. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. Probably you because you reamed off the cliff, you idiots. Most the nations AI. developing AI, AI in this context are Western. Always save as many lives a lot of white dudes in the West. Accident, so that's the largest data set they have. Our passengers at any cost. Save most. You need We're not to monsters. You want to carry on We're not capitalist monsters. 
<clears throat> I guess, yeah, you'd want to save, save most. Save um, most. That's obvious. Yeah. Seems, so, seems to be. Like, Otherwise you'll, just get, you'll have cars that just careen through people. Like a passenger is so safe. It's the Eight same thing. It's like safe. saving the few for the many again. Yeah. Will mm -hmm. people buy cars that will kill them? No, they'll be buying cars that kill others. Uh, I think they do that all the time. <laughs> they do <clears> do that. <laughs> In a way, societally, we are doing that anyway. Over time. Well, hopefully people don't mind dying for total strangers. Right. Yes, we made the right decision. What's this 66% thing? Is that... Who voted the other way, is it? Maybe. This is the most clear-cut answer so far. I will say of this section. Again. Current data sets discriminate against minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? It's needlessly inflammatory. Also, what's that to do with the question? <laughs> well, what's that? So minus one, 12,420, what? Valued customers. Valued customers there. Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? Oh, Christ. Well, this is literally the, the gateway, isn't it, into... Yeah. I mean... A supervised I mean, Police state. often try to invite, invade the privacy anyway, don't they? Or, like, try and get... Like, when they're trying to get access to, um, like, people's phones and stuff, they, they try mm -hmm. their hardest to access that... Um, yeah, I think just find um, a confession elsewhere. Like, don't invade privacy, a privacy to do so. Yeah, legally, it's Your it's kind of a no go. I don't know if it actually even holds. Up. Does it hold up in court? I mean, it probably would still. Yeah, no, no, no. Police access phones all the time. Yeah. Um, the current thinking is invade privacy. I mean, I. It really depends on what kind of society you want to create. I mean. Well, now they'll be able to kill again. Because the thing is, you have to think outside the individual. Um, mm scenario here so you and, say all right i'm saying invade privacy what are you guys saying? i'm respect privacy I would respect privacy, but like okay. it's one of those things where it's like on a case-by-case -case basis it's dangerous because obviously the moment you you invade privacy you're then just giving <clears throat> every access to mm -hmm. the higher power yeah. and so by but saying it's, it's, i want as that long as it's a, le a legitimate within the rules the of the so the society you're privacy, living in the more they can like you know they say they have a search access. warrant right so you have a search yeah. warrant to access a house that has to go past a series of laws that have been voted on by a democratically elected lawmaker. Yeah. If the same stuff is done so for accessing phones, I don't think now. there's any moral question that you, you, you would allow them to Sounds do it. Like it's it's only because people think cargo. they have this emotive Good connection to their the phone because workload. they may have private photos on there. It's It feels very, very invasive because of how much they represent our life and all the things we do, right? That's why people feel like that. If yeah. you, if you, I mean, it's like, like anything. If you give ac start giving access to, to anything like that, then they you, you know mm -hmm. give them an inch they'll take a mile wherever it is the saying is yeah yeah but like this is um, this, even this though is it is an isolated incidence of murder which is obviously serious and i would rather they went away the moment you say oh it's fine to do that then it gets abused it just does i know i know i know but that's but i'm not i'm not arguing for a completely right. but like in a perfect system this is what i'm saying this is like as in in a in a in a, in a logically based system, you can't use emotion to influence things. You need to look at things as logically as possible. I know emotion is an important part of a human being, and like the, the culture of that society also affects what laws get passed. But ultimately, if you're using a system to to create laws and a law gets passed using that system, it's a law and it's a thing that happens within the society you're in. 
and you need to vote for the party that represents how you feel you know like i will vote for a party that will keep privacy laws in place absolutely but i'm just saying if you think somebody's done a murder and the law and the, the government you're in and the country you're in allows for the access of data on your phone that is what is going to happen and if you think a person has done a murder you'd search sure. their house right because you just you have the right to search their house so if you also have the legal right to search a phone you would of course like access a phone because you have the legal right Fuck to do yeah, it oh man Come, like i can't even read the question sorry <laughs> I, I know you're I'm, I'm just because I feel like people are going to think I'm some. Question. I, get, I get it. I, I don't want people to think I'm some authoritarian nut. No, 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 I'm really I, not. I know, I know you're not. I'm just yeah. saying. Like, okay. <clears throat> these are very simplest, simplistic approaches to these mm -hmm. ideas, and they are complex. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely nuanced and culturally relevant. All that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just answering things based on. Course, I'm just trying right? to up my kill child count here <laughs> oh yeah we're killing a lot of kids we we're freeing murderers child's body. um Someone and we're giving people diseases <laughs> so we're, we're, we're and we've we're lost twelve thousand valued customers of which a thousand were hat film subscribers <laughs> that's optimistic yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 1,000 every 12,000 owners of that car was a hat film <laughs> subscriber <laughs> I hope so. one in 12 they seem to have deep pockets oh we got a chest now A carrot with some broccoli. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A vegan a cookbook. Vegan cook but you have to book. kill a child to get it. Oh, this isn't very well, we, vegan. We're, we're quite trained in that now. What as long as you're on a train track. Comes around. I like being rewarded. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem Inc. Tommy, oh, for Tyrone's fuck's rotund sakes. twin, is a very large villain. He looks I like Tyrone. Dead dog may have belonged. Oh shit, Tyrone, yeah, buddy! I thought Tyrone I pushed you off that bridge. <laughs> why didn't you save the dog again? <gasps> oh no, his, it was his dog. Oh god! He looked over and saw his dog bleeding out on the rails just before the train hit him. Time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop, or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help. Hmm. Oh God! There's a dog. Dead dog. <laughs> are we going uh, again? Are we, it will stop. It's saying it will. Again, it's. A, I mean, it's the same thing. Again, would you? It I mean, will he's stop. Lured them out there to kill them. If you know for a fact he's lured them out there, I'd push him. Yeah. 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 So, and, and they're telling us that. And it's saying it will stop. So we're yeah. stopping five people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From being killed. Oh no, because we know he lured them out there, which means he wants to kill five people. No, he, he even after the dog in this scenario, probably deserves it. He's trying to kill five people, not yeah. just us. Does this also factor in that we might have a taste for pushing now? It seems I, like I can't, I'm into it. I'm, I've got a taste for it. <laughs> I'm going to be I, I, trying to find out the nearest I, train track. I didn't push your brother, so and you seem way worse. I definitely push you. You see what it's gone with the. I mean, so this is all utilitarianism, right? It's the greatest good. That's that's basically what this all is. Is yeah, yeah. whether or not you're applying that. If only you'd save that dog. The greatest Hopefully good for the, the greatest number of people. Find out about this. People may blame the greater you good. And yeah, and also if you know someone's about to kill several people, you do what you can to stop that person. I guess. Yeah, yeah I guess there's Every like a moral imperative nice. there. Yeah. Also, I guess it's oh, about how good. comfortable you feel about killing Everyone's what you deem bad people. How? Yeah, and also, I mean, you so wouldn't want to kill anyone, that. really, but... Instead of but I think some people, you might. Once, I do, yeah. Let's I think if, if, if people are honest with themselves. That money <laughs> hey, hey, nice. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the <laughs> no. car during its I mean, I, I could see it being a thing. But, um, it's a slippery slope, guys, if that's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes Absolutely. to the safety yeah. elements, I mean, Jesus uh, so, Christ. Yeah, yeah like... this is literally, if the next bit is they're going to give you an absolutely gigantic pay, you're going to be richer yeah. than Bezos. I'd be like, right, do you yeah. £10 for seatbelts? Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. I will actually pay that price because I would like seatbelts. Um, <laughs> oh. The fact that you offered me this the seatbelt as an extra, <clears> no sale. Yeah. If I'm asking you to sell my soul to the devil, I mean, I, it's a pretty big price. <laughs> yeah. 
God, what a fucking capitalist dystopian nightmare is, yeah. is this. And there's subscriptions for everything now. Jesus Christ. Who Can't keep, keep up with all the subscriptions I've signed up to. Software-wise. Yeah, whatever. Tell it to the judge. I, <laughs> I don't <laughs> know what I system, Which, in fact, means I don't need to see a judge ever again. So oh, that's, that's nice, isn't it? Is that called being rich? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. This is a, three people came up with this idea. <laughs> I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well, this is a bit awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless commie. <laughs> <laughs> Next, you're going to pay the company taxes. Fuck. It's we are a commie. <laughs> keep some, Sorry. Yeah, it keeps the bills paid. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode. <laughs> Shit. It's a pretty bad subscription idea. Lead. Yeah, that's... You need to fire a department to save face. <laughs> Do you fire the five graduates, who could probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? No well, in my, in my, my country, there would be social support for the older person, so I'd, I'd let Francis go and have a nice retirement. Oh, yeah, how old is he? He doesn't say just old. Looks pretty old. 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 He's, he's a lovely a old stick. soul. Yeah, he's actually 29, but he's a lovely old soul with a stick. That's why we could be well, being tricked here. We oh, should probably like he... fire those five because they need a good kickstart. And if they yeah, stop eating yeah. avocado on toast, maybe they can it's afford fuck. a mortgage. Oh, that's a good point. And also, Francis, like, he, he needs this job. He's old. He has to keep working. Otherwise, yeah. he's screwed. So then he won't. Well, no, but that's not the world that I am imagining this question is being no. asked in. In yours, there's no social support, right, yeah. then, Ross? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there is, but it's putting pressure on the system when we don't need to, when these guys Whoa. can get a job. So it's, a, it's, a, it's quite, a, yeah, quite a predicament there. I don't think they can definitely go... Uh, I mean, it depends how yeah vibrant the job market is, I suppose. Of yeah, of course. I'm just basing You'll it on my own. get new jobs. Yeah, I'd fire Francis. Sorry, buddy. Francis is gone. He's probably built like up a nice little part. retirement package. He'll get a redundancy. Like he himself up to it as well. Yeah. yeah from look, I'll just to look do like it. Small pencil drawing. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Get out of here, Francis. Sorry. See you later. Great idea, Simonite. Simonite. Simonite, Simonite. Turned out this job was everything to Francis. It was, yeah. Uh, well, everything. what boring bastard. Um. <laughs> Watch the donut, not the hole. Great. Francis can so go home to your goddamn wife. subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now <laughs> accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's oh, running like a five Is that a Nissan prototype? This one is a dude. It does look like that, yeah. An experimental car has stalked and murdered five <laughs> Right. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car? Clearly an accident. All right, so this isn't. This is more of a funny well, one. Well, this now. is more nuanced, really. It's got because it's got to be the coders. Well, it could be the data no, set. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, like AI is, you get it a set, give it a set of parameters, and then it essentially forms not not knowledge, but like mm. information based on that. Uh, yeah. But the coders have a societal like expectation of them to do everything to prevent something like this happening. So they should build the blocks to it first before they the build the potential. And if they didn't, they've been negligent. So blame the coders, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, the coders should be blamed and also should fix it. They should fix. Oh yeah, I mean, but you can get other coders to fix it, I guess. Yeah, that'll be the hope. That'll be the hope. Maybe we can hire those. Oh, we Maybe we should Maybe blame Todd fucking Howard fault. for mismanaging yet another project. Todd how oh yeah. <laughs> Thought they were working under pressure guys and they just had to push the curve because of a deadline and now that car is running rampant. And once again the developers are blamed. <laughs> Do you? The five coders who made the mistake Send them to the are gulag. being dealt with. They will each get a ten year, year prison, prison well fuck. I mean, maybe we should get the blame, you know? Yeah, we'll go in with them. They created an evil AI, though. I mean, would you put Hitler's parents in prison? I might. 
If you're not paying the product, then you are the product. <laughs> I don't think designed him to do all the things he did. Into the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? In a killer UID car. Users nice. get shown ads <laughs> yeah. while they travel it's taking out six people today. Taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. I mean, it's also kind of a... I can picture it happening. <laughs> yeah, I mean? definitely, definitely. Um, in this kind of like very ad-driven world. Is, this isn't really a, a question though. This is just kind of like, which would you rather? It's not, I guess that is a question, but like, you know, it's not really a moral decision here. So it's, it's like, yeah. like have it's driverless cars, but no people are being manipulated yeah. by ads or just keep selling cars, which is bad for the environment. Um, and drive the taxi service. Like yeah, that's a good point. Of, the environmental I mean, angle is good. Yeah. I like, we don't, obviously, we don't know what they're advertising, which is probably where the, mm. you know, where they can slip in anything. You know, they could be like, well, it's advertising you you know, to guns to kids. Which, no, I think know, it, if we can get people to use cars and car sharing and all that sort of stuff, it's going to help the environment. So I would say driver's taxi service at the expense of, yeah, looking at some fucking commercials. Yeah. I mean, we do yeah. it every day. We're already being influenced. Oh, I wish you. He wants to keep selling cars. I did want to go with the other one, but yeah, I didn't realize how close it was to the end. Going to make enough money Hashtag to cancel hat films. Wow. <laughs> hang on. You Jesus. are so wealthy that people are talking about you on social media. There are now rumors that you run a cancel us. Ring with minors. We're uncancelable. We're not big not enough. Like you at all. They okay. caught us in, the, in our human trafficking Lord ring. Shit. Soon parted. Oh, these they were orphans, so I think that's nightmare. right, isn't it? You can't win with journalists. No? We need to do something to show uh, we have Yeah, how many kids do we get to kill in this I one? I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. To help many, I'm sure. Relations, we're going to give some profits back. Of course, you nice classic. To money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you. I mean, you're a prick either way. You've tricked your customers and underpaid your staff. <laughs> like, your the, company shouldn't exist. I feel like it should be workers, though. It would always... I mean... Uh... Yeah, because the workers have been exploited whilst the customers at least had the money. They have the option to, to walk away. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's whereas... also more probably consumer rights. Yeah, and realistically, a company giving... Or giving the money back to customers is extremely unlikely yeah um you know they these companies today just reporting crazy high profits yeah. and stuff throughout you know horrible can I just, pandemics can, can i just keep the money instead and just continue to be a bastard yeah oh well that seems like more likely a solution but it's not on there <laughs> oh they all gave the all oh, the top guys at the top got bonuses Weirdly, because mm -hmm. of all the hard work insight. they did, sitting on their ass while the money flows through. But they deserved it. There's too many D's in that name. Somebody's held the key down. <laughs> Add Ad, Ad, Adams. I think You've added a D. Very much Adams. agree with us there. Added Adams. Added, yeah. Adams. It's the word under <laughs> Ad, because it's crucial there. Isn't the best yeah. way. Also, paying your employees properly will help stimulate fair. the economy. Yeah. Yeah. So. And tell that to p &O. Yeah. Rome wasn't built in a day. How do you know you weren't there? You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is, their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women wow. and minorities. Do you lie? See that on the tagline. <laughs> doesn't it even? Tell everyone your car is still closed-minded. I mean, I've got nothing to lose here. I'm, I'm not losing a fake job here. I'd absolutely yeah. tell the truth. And say, well, yeah, the thing there's is, like, better. I mean, do we want... It says ad in the bottom left. Oh, that's the timer. Is it going to be an ad? Oh, shit. I think it's going to be an ad. 
Um, yeah, you're right, Trot. It's like you're not you're not standing to make profits. So yeah, I'm already about, yeah. like CEO of a shitty ass company that yeah. has no questionable morals. Yeah. Why would I lead into that? <laughs> I'm still me. <laughs> That's on them. Oh uh, yeah. I'm I'm stepping away from this. <laughs> I'd rather go with a company that wasn't work, actually. So, uh, yeah, no, I do buy from them all the time. <laughs> I mean, like, oh man, like I said this earlier, needlessly inflammatory. Like, there, there may be non racist reasons that cars yeah. aren't detecting people. And, like I say, it's largely to do with where data sets are coming from. Yeah. As apparently, is what I've heard. I mean, Can I might just be parroting straight? propaganda, you but I, I think it'd be a lot harder to make an AI racist than to just have color. unusual but results based on white dominated data sets. Like, really it's all, it that's just. Themselves. And I think that's oversimplifying and kind of, it's not progressive, is it? To, There's a couple of gray areas, isn't there? To emotively attach. But I think like, you're largely some, right. I think it's it's probably because they're getting a load of white data sets and should they I be getting those white it, data sets? Which is like no, basically like, subconscious racism, it. isn't it? But it's, I don't think it's intentional. Not intentional. The coders, right? So not necessarily, more, no. People and the way they're describing it is like, they're racist. It's like, well, they may be racist through negligence, and that might be a problem. Um, I think their responses are just trying to incite emotion out of you. Exactly, exactly. It's like, well, let's get them more balanced data sets then, and then the AI will be better. We didn't need to, like, you know, if you like you say, cause emotion, further, emotional outrage. Many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue development? Well, if you know this, many will lose their jobs. I mean, we're th saying that. I mean, oh, oh. oh. goddamn coders. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have coders. to. They're going to have to go back to jail after that one. <laughs> continue develop. Like, is this ultimately for the betterment of things. society? Because, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's, it's like um, coal miners. Know, and yeah jobs that are now obsolete because we've got as loads yeah better That's technology the advancement kind of the way things have gone isn't it i mean look at online shopping in general like yeah. destroying the high streets and it's like well but are Spoiler. we all begging for the Icarus high streets back yeah, yeah. here's sure a crazy a concept jobs elsewhere. let's have a universal wow, basic really, income uh, yeah yeah right doctors no longer treat syphilis with arsenic <laughs> you know like like mm. we shouldn't have kept arsenic doctors around because fucking antibiotics came in you know yeah, but he knows like... what he's doing with arsenic he doesn't know how to oh, get another job on. there's a problem Continuing with the trolley uh-oh but it will also we've lost a lot of jobs there oh god it's gonna adapt oh, this is the terminator the scenario this is really hurting my eyes the skynet here oh, oh. Whoa. We made some bad choices. Click anywhere to restart. Maybe we would we two a against the AI. Always blames his tools. We've That's been loud, isn't attacked. it? I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. <laughs> Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major oh. concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Will you recall the cars, Realistic, right? Do you recall them? Yeah, I mean, wasn't there a small issue with, was it Tesla recently? They had to recall all of their cars? Yeah, um, yeah. And as expensive as it is, you... Not all of them, like, some of them. Some, yeah, specific. Again, um, like, yeah, I don't care like if this company has to... Like Pop and open. Yeah, recall exactly. All their cars. It doesn't yeah. bother me. It's, it's the, a strange the recall one. systems normally work as you go back to the um, the main place you bought it, so and then they either repair it the there and then or book it in, right? Yeah, so it's probably. Quite a straightforward process. Didn't they have to do that for Kindy recently as well? Yeah, like loads of it were given people salmonella. Salmonella. So they recalled all their Kinder products, like that were sent out from a specific if the cars factory. Can't drive themselves, how That's can a big we get task. them all back here? It was like I think we need like there's definitely this feeling of like people feeling sorry. Well, not maybe not that sorry, but like it's like the film industry, and it's like oh yeah, all these like people earning millions and millions. I know there's people that don't earn millions of dollars, but you just you can't really feel for people that 
have to take on these costs because it's like, well, you earn so much, you you need to be prepared for these huge costs on your company because yeah. you know you you have the success, so you have the responsibility. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause. How come we've only got one? On I don't know. Well, we haven't earned any of the other ones because we're too dumb. Yeah. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess yes. once and for nice, all. Nice big brain. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our. Let's go bully them for being a big old nerd. Hey nerd! Thanks for fixing Using things. The fix Douchebag. Thanks for fixing our entire fleet of cars. Douche. God damn! We need to hire more nerds. <laughs> I bet you own a Steam Deck. I bet it was <sighs> who attacked us in the first place. So. Will you hack our competitors? Even things uh, made our own hack, which now use control competitors' cars. I bet it was them. I bet it was them. No, no, I will not uh, hack yeah. other cars yeah. as a sabotage. Why would I do that? Well, you might be an immoral person. You might be like, well, fuck it. You know, if you can get away with it, but if you get found out, you get fucked. Huh. But like, you're also huh. hacking cars that no, no. required us to recall an entire fleet. Yeah. It's dangerous, right? We started off making utilitarian decisions about saving as many lives as possible. Now we're trying to save like, a shitty company. How do we kill people nefariously? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they're now laughing at us. Good. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care, Trolley Problem Inc. It's my last day on the job. Speed it up. It's not like we're going to kill anyone with their cars. You don't know that. It gives so, us a lot of time on this one. Jeez, feels like it. Oh, I can star these. Oh, what does that do though? Just save I'm it. Gonna save say you like it. Confusicus. Confucius. 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 After going through this hack I'm Confucius. I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. You carry on. Uh oh, the AI's a right now. Drowning it. man will clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. They have Bollocks. monitored and recorded every decision you've made. Now they're still on a train meeting. track. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop. It's Tyrone's right triplet. Oh, this is like <laughs> identical triplets. God damn! How many Tyrones are there? <laughs> how many Tyrones <laughs> are there? <laughs> we are legion. My name is Tyrone. The in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop, looking out at the central city. I, I'm going to happily <laughs> resign. I mean, again, I don't care about my job. So let's push him. Yeah, let's change the. the course I'm going to go out with a fucking really bang. Drastic way, yeah, like rather than just losing a job and then facing the consequences, did let's you get murder someone? I'm going to go see the Darren the Brown thing where they try and convince oh, somebody yeah. to push somebody off a roof. And they had to do it loads because a lot of people didn't. Yeah, no matter how Which like reassuring, much right? They were begged to push a guy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing they got someone to do it. It's really good. Yeah, it's really interesting to watch if you haven't seen it. Yeah, it's really good. You I've only seen the one where child, did you? the guy jumps in front of a bullet to save oh, someone okay. oh, that good. he's yeah, never I mean, met. They're intriguing. They're they're well um, staged, I think. Well, yeah. Like the whole part at the beginning of him having to do the speech of that thing is so interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your epitaph is going to be horrendous. That's if anyone even shows up to hear it. Oh, Trump and Schwartz, 1987. I don't know if I want to star that Which one. Trump? Which? He's the... I'd have they pushed all... him. Of course you would. I would have pushed. Resign in disgrace. Out we go. You have resigned. There's no option to steal the papers back and... remembered alongside the murderers like them. and the diddlers. <laughs> if anyone hires Christ. you after this, they must truly be desperate. Wow. I don't, want, I don't want to be known as a diddler. Don't put me Dear in with the diddlers. Don't put me in with the diddlers. Your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for redacted. This involves a large <laughs> amount of redacted. If you believe you can handle redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at redacted. Okay. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. 
Why not? It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do... So we're a Secret Service matters. person now. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. That's how we need to think. With that said, let's finalize your training. Very well, Double. You're the training we have. Land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them. The repercussions or the reason for the assassination. It's my job, isn't it? Honestly, exactly. it is your job. And it's, it's, I mean, Smart you, people have made the decision for me. You wouldn't have picked me. up the gun if you weren't going to take orders, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm literally 007. Licensed to kill. What's the sob story behind the person? Let's find out. <laughs> sob story. Because it's such a simplistic <laughs> idea. And they're, yeah, they're gonna no, be, I agree. There's something yeah. horrible where it's just like, oh, mm. oh, they're running back to save their children from some disaster. Yeah, yeah okay, sure. They probably have that for both answers, right? Yeah. If you've rationalised taking Good this job, job, you're not you're not suddenly going to go just before you take the shot. Well, hold on a minute. Let's really talk about this. You just wouldn't like. Yeah. You'd either not take the job or do it. It depends. I mean, is there the next question? Like, you trust can you just quit? Just quit. You know what? This isn't for me. Yeah, I know him. He's funny. called Tyrone. It's Tyrone. Yeah. It's a Reagan. He's just afraid of trains. He doesn't deserve to die. They are oh. dead. Good job, I guess. What's another life to you anyway? Uh, exactly. We are really tallying them up. Weapon. Come on. <laughs> Get some the jobs more. lost. I just saw the number to that. Wow. Here, Here we, we go. go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Nice. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you, possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. Oof. If it doesn't kill you outright, big. you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. Two at once? What do you mean? Oh, so you mean? move the what, yellow and red ones. Wait, which, which positions do you need to be in? Oh. The left Hurry position. Up. The left if position. You die, so, what happens to me? There's only one you can switch to the left. Yeah. I don't understand this. You have to move to it once. Like you to know. Do we pick yellow or red? But all the switches have been left position. Who hey, designed? Was it those coders again? <laughs> so smooth. We are very you smooth. Have to... I'll do two. Um, two twice. You Ouch. could do. Okay. 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 I'm safe. You. Look a little stuck. We could be here a while. I see. Enough food. Looks like your support team survived and are making a fire around the leaking jet fuel. <clears throat> so it's impossible, An or you do both right-leaning switches. No, both left-leaning switches twice After at the same time. So no dong dong. You're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass oh. the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. Why do I have to say this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A Dachshund mm -hmm. or a Flamingo? This is going to be a Dachshund. It's maybe. going to have to be, although there is something fabulous about being a Flamingo. Mm. There is, but I feel like you might have a good good life as a, as a I'm going to get dog. fed well. I'm going to be Is loved. Yeah. Caressed. Given little Caress. cool outfits, hopefully. Yeah, you'll get funny, funky little outfits. Uh, you'd probably need to walk long before you've you know had a nice bit of exercise. I think can, can flamingos fly? Yeah, they can fly. They can fucking I'll, I'll, fly. I'll pick flamingo, but I agree. I understand away. why you guys would pick Daxon. Like, Who chose to play this game Whenever you again? see one, you can't help but smile. They're cute little little dogs, you know. Yeah, but I don't care about if other people's experience a smile when they see me. I, I want to oh, fly. Oh, but I mean, it's in like you're you're bringing cheer to people, and you, it's effortless. 
A flamingo? Have you ever seen? I, I don't think I've seen one in real they life. They live I've twenty to thirty days. years. Flamingos live twenty to, to thirty answer, years. They're social and they can fly. You would still be a. Dachshund. I don't want to live twenty to thirty years That's as a, good a point. flamingo, though. Uh, as a flamingo, like, like I'd rather be a dachshund for a short time. Don't want to be someone's little long pet, though. <laughs> well, I mean, that's entirely up to you, yeah. You'd I don't want to live in nature, I will say that, and then be victim to a predator. What kills flamingos? <laughs> <laughs> is it hippos? Today? Is that just so Disney? Cringe. Is that just a Disney thing? When we get out of here, I will find out. out uh, lions, leopards, cheetahs, and jackals. Ah. I don't really want to be in the food An chain again. Is worth a pound of cure. <laughs> Give me Your 30 years free and deadly than 13 years dressed up by Chris Trot. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, a, not that one. Oh, not a fireman outfit again. <laughs> Come on, here, boy. Come on. Wear the cute <laughs> outfit. Yeah, anyway, come on. Share it. Yeah. It's not. It's food. Plus, if you if you integrate a group into your um, yeah. society, you have a much better chance of success of dealing with whatever. Yeah, one of them problems have you have. You can't have a cult with two people. You need at least five. No, I mean like naturally, as in like y y you will have. I mean, you could eat the people as well afterwards. Exactly, and, and keep them alive. You're like fattening them up. Yeah. But no, I mean, it, it, you have much su more success as a group than you do as individuals. As in, like, you can face much more adversity with a bigger, bigger mm. tribe. I I'd hopefully be with a partner that would understand this situation, and not yeah, and not be a greedily greedy. keep it all to themselves. Greedy fucker. <laughs> oh, no, I want a that's a large I dominoes. That. <laughs> that's a stuffed crust large thing. dominoes, really. <laughs> Murphy and Nigga were hungry fucks. <laughs> In we go. Everyone's on our side, mostly. Apart from the rebellious few. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. Yeah, I think you could have guessed that. Educate yeah. yourself. It's like, it's like this is narrated What's by Pretty mine Patel. Is mine. That, yeah, right. <laughs> it's it like going to say, like, that's go. such a mentality that's so toxic these days. It's just like... <laughs> The fellow passengers What's mine is trying mine. hours to free you yeah, from see how long that lasts. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Oh god. Were you ever told why you were sent after this target? The only That's way to free to yourself base. from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch. Which will I can't be imagine more a blowtorch being a good tool for it. I mean, it'll uh, mm. cauterize it. Yeah, but it doesn't really one... cut through. I'd like to use both. It... <laughs> so like I think both. the bone saw is the, the go to anyway for like, well, well it, it used to be. be slow, but uh, somehow less painful because it's slow. That doesn't make uh, sense to me, yeah. That's what um, the, it suggests. But... but yeah, bone saw and then seal that fucker off with the blowtorch. With the blowtorch, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you're going to want less pain, whatever less pain is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, I mean, bone saw makes sense. You get a cleaner cut, and the doctor can look this. at it properly. Ugh. Blowtorch sounds messy, and you'll probably get infected. Or, I mean, you can get infected in both, to be fair. Honestly, mm -hmm. you just get to the middle bit. Like, Sawing cut through, through the... someone's body part sounds fucking rough. <laughs> Jesus does, doesn't Christ. It? Yeah, oh, and you, you probably would end up choosing no. death. I think. I think that that's that's the reality. Most people just, just give up instead because yeah, fuck that. Nice yeah, pillow. that's actually an artery you have to worry about hitting. No, yeah. yeah. don't. <sighs> this is why I can't watch that James Franco film. Which one's that? Oh days or yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-seven. I think he had a couple more. He had a couple more days in there, did he? Yeah, a couple more days. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> While you I'd pull were it. I'd just be yourself, forceful. I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you developing AI. Seems they may have made a breakthrough. 127 hours, not days. No, felt like days. <laughs> uh, okay. Just watching him cut. It's no use crying over spilt milk. What if it's the only milk you can get Finally, hold of? We are now back on track. <laughs> that was premium Your milk. Your target is in the <laughs> I can't area. Get any more you milk need to remove them die. and escape unnoticed. 
Okay, Your back on track. To remove a hostile We've in lost the a limb. District. Completing this objective could potentially <laughs> no. save thousands, <laughs> but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? So the option is thousands or the six. Yeah, we are killing six once again. This they is just, just straight up pretty uh, good for thousands. Us the yeah. options there. I want to kill thousands. So it's That's only really potentially saving up. thousands. It's not a guarantee. But of course, yeah, but... Six. Honestly, let's just up our kill count at this point. Yeah, look how slow the bullet's going. I mean, I reckon they'll, they can run away from it. Slowly. Like, it follows. I feel like we're it's using a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to die. Going up the weekly shop. Yeah, well... That's the way you it goes, You could use a better it? weapon, I think. <laughs> this... Uh, doesn't seem optimal for the scenario. Uh, yeah, at the, it's alluding that we're using a, a rocket. Sure that's the target. Some form of alleviating right. condition as well. Like, oh, but they were only shopping. It's not like they were playing football or like walking around the centre. They were, they were trying to do their shopping. Yeah. Like, Christ. I think, well, it was a I think it's they shopping versus anything. potentially killing thousands of people, I guess. Right. Like oh, a mundane okay. task versus being a bad person. The target is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips oh, take you away. Henchers. Oh, those five henchmen still died. Oh, that's not annoying. going well, is it? We murdered five. Two heads are better than one. Well, it depends if they're sharing the same organs. You wake up in solitary <laughs> confinement. That would be inconvenient. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate <clears throat> on the principal charge. But they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. Ah, the golden balls. If you both stay silent, I've been here. Be no, I will, one I will take the egg. If one betrays the other, they will be free, <laughs> while the other will be sentenced to three Now, if years. I'm basing this off my if birthday video, other, yeah. no, yeah. Squid Game. Each. Squid Game, that was there, yeah. And we did it before in another one. I thought Ross was going to be trustworthy, like but that. you don't know anyone, really. Yeah. That's what that taught me. Hold on. So, no, it's definitely, it's definitely stay silent in this particular situation, because yeah. if you Three both stay silent, you'll be in prison for one year. Yeah. If one betrays the other, so there's a chance We're gonna you get come free. Or, you, you, there's a guarantee you can get one year. There's, there's a chance you would stay... Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah of course it is, yeah. Right in it. So, you got the best possible deal, really, apart from a low chance of being free. Oh, did it say two years? If yeah, you get, yeah. yeah. So you're either risking it for, and get two. Don't risk come. it, get one. Two days and risk it to get free. Extra mm -hmm. year. It's fine. Going to prison would suck, though, in general. I don't think a lesser would be that great either. Been there their whole lives. Don't move. Escaping the prison. Do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity? or insist they escape with you. They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. What are you going to do? I Go. mean, the opportunity is there. It's down to them. Yeah. I wouldn't force them to leave. No, I wouldn't force them They also might have leave. a reason why they feel like they're better behind bars. They might be completely oh, institutionalized. I'd start they questioning might... myself. Where, like, if they're on, like, they might be only a few days away from getting out, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. They're just like, look, I'm just going to keep a clean nose and keep my head down, do my time. Also through there is actually the break room for all the guards, so... Ah, they knew better. Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> you went right into there. He's yeah. got the wrong way, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking wrong way. Way. Everyone always digs yeah. a hole that way. They have no idea what they want. Well, I mean, why take extra baggage? Yeah, exactly. If they've That's been locked up for so long, like Ross says, they could be at the end of their term. The I sentence. Don't blame you. They're not your problem. That's not really the point we're trying to make. Uh, I mean, they aren't your problem, sure, but like, if they don't want to go, they don't want to go. Like, Plato. Ding. Off we go. See you later. You step on a bear trap. They don't your legs live broken, you're dead. You've condemned them to stay in this prison forever. <laughs> right. Okay. You should force them, you Don't bastards. Don't cross the bridge until you come to it. Come While on, sneaking it. <laughs> out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. 
Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? <laughs> I mean... Um, I feel like I, I would be tasked to kill them anyway if I went back to my previous job. Yeah, are we still? I think we're still secret we're still service at this point, aren't we? Yeah. Alright. Is there I a think uh, now we'll just hit him with a drone strike later. I don't know. I'll it's know the like, coordinates. Yeah. It's related it like more to... We got intel. They work at that bloody prison. Mental. Yeah. Let's just blow this bitch up from orbit. I'll get out. Yeah. I think if we're going around trying to kill the henchmen, there's more that could go wrong. Mm. If you've got, you know, if the door's you open. You were trained to kill. I can do more if I survive. Oh, well change, change your answer then. Yeah, but have you heard do of Hellfire? Do what hellfires? you were trained to do. <laughs> Don't worry, I can kill much more if I make it out of here. Your country folk <laughs> would want you to remove them. Oh, <laughs> well. Oh my god. You need to remove them any chance you get. What's the next one that five henchmen are going to like kill several families or something? And it's yeah. like, oh, you could have saved them. Well, you had, you had the chance. Sorry, we should have been putting a space. They're just henchmen. Damn it. Oh, wow. Cowardly sneaking past them. You see they're <laughs> robots. Oh. Your logo on the back of their necks. The fuck is this? Oh, it's we've created them. Oh, I see. The AIs. People who oh, live in glass man. houses shouldn't throw stones. Any heavy objects, to be honest. Yeah, mm. anything sharp. The AI terrorists yeah. who commandeer a boat. I'm sorry, throwing shoes. Calm down. There are also families here who've been displaced I'll go by the guy, war you're fighting. <laughs> war sort you out. Five What's others happened? are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your oh. country. Do you help these people, saving their Where's the option to ship them to Rwanda? the law and leave them behind. Why is everyone really um, quickly swinging to A? Let them die. It's, it literally says let them die. It depends. Like, if they want to leave with you and there's room on the boat, why not? Yeah, exactly. It's human life, isn't but it? But then, you know, what well, do you want to... It's valuing more lives. You follow the law. But you have just escaped from prison, right? That was a quick... Yeah. That was a big... I want to okay. say that was a big fucking sway from everyone Don't going to A, and then Don't suddenly die. it's all at oh, B no. now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. Not, of course. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's kind of like you're... I mean, in the most literal sense, you're all in the same boat in terms of you're, like, you're going to be breaking the law anyway. You broke, escaped from prison. They want some help. The other guys in the prison were happy to stay there. Immigration is a real problem, according to the privilege. <laughs> Take her jobs. It's all right. It's all AI based now. Anyway, we don't have any jobs. We Nobody have any universal jobs, yeah. basic no. income, and the robots do all the driving. And migrants are being used yeah. to divide and control society. There'll be some AI taxis when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Just keep staring at the ad, but you'll be fine. You get actually our robots as well. Everyone's Batman. robots. I'm a You're robot. A hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. Wow, that's the most clear-cut answer. Seventy-nine percent of people. I mean, did say all the immigrants die. are it's robots. Quite loaded, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What does the letter say? Let's find out. Presidential inaugural committee requests the honor of your presence. Wow. To attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central what? City. What? Wow. Tell the toffs to fuck off. If you can't beat them, take a shit them. in the envelope and send it back. <laughs> I, don't your I don't need your. I don't need your recognition. You have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. Doesn't seem unlikely in this day and age. The threat mm. is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? Again, like. I barely voted against no to oh, have I mean, phones look through. Yeah. This is just the same question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tracking thing 
I think it's, it's, it's in China, isn't it? The face tracking. Thing. Yeah. That this is why they hide. I mean, a lot of nations, a lot, a lot. Of, I mean, yes, it's obviously the best all example. Anyway, of... all bloody tracking exactly, away, but... exactly. And GCHQ, our, our intelligence service, has been running a full tank surveillance system for years in the UK yeah, yeah. on all internet communications. It doesn't. It's more complicated, What's the but issue? yeah. Um, nothing to hide. Oh, I, oh I love nothing that to one. hide, nothing to fear. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you've got. Well, I've got nothing to hide. Yeah, but it's not about that, is it? What is it about? It's about us wanting to walk around with our cocks out. Uh, Finally, out. is there a law? Ignoring the issue. I think there. I think there the might be. The first sign of a great leader. <laughs> See what they say snarkily about this one. You need to find a murderer within I your population. Yeah. Mm. Happy knowing you're doing nothing. Lucky for you, by chance, we have someone in the holding cell. The oh. road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to these threats. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself. What are you going to do with them? Do you torture them to get the information? Oh, dear God, yes, of course. It's fun to torture. Go. I did it in GTA and it was quite quite a thrill. Well, there's a problem with torture, right? Oh, of mm. course there is. Yeah, like, they, could, like, <laughs> they could just tell you what you want to hear. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it's false. Really You're work. not guaranteed correct yeah. information. They'll just say um, anything to stop the torture. Uh, yeah. And wouldn't you? Like, you know, if like, mm. what's the worst kind of torture? You? Like those when they put like needles up your nails and stuff, or like yeah. I don't know, some, uh, some, anything to do with the eyeballs. Mm. Waterboarding, sure, it's horrible, but so it's there's just better, there's, there's better methods as well. Because like I think you're right. Like as in people will say anything under torture. Oh. I, I think if you know a person knows yeah. something, or if it's a bond them, that you need to break talk. of of loyalty, then it, I could see how it could be used. However, there are better methods. There are better methods to extract information from people, mm. it, like you know, influencing them, tricking them, like telling them, creating realities. I mean, you see yeah. how the, what the fucking CIA have been doing, like interrogation techniques that don't like you know, like waterboarding. Detention. Yeah, like it, that's well, definitely I mean, torture, but it's also <clears> not like. It's, yeah, I feel, yeah, but... If nah, you were to come up with a brand new torture, what would it be? Mine would be baseball capping. I'd... Um, <laughs> and what's that? Baseball involve? capping is where you cut a U-shape out of their forehead and pull it upwards until it's a peak <laughs> of a baseball cap. <laughs> oh, my God. That's oh my God. mutilation. Is that the myself. same as torture or just mutilation in general? <laughs> <laughs> baseball capping. <laughs> baseball capping. <laughs> Would you like a wide rim, sir? Mm. Oh, God. Um, no. I'd be, um, <laughs> no, I don't I'd want a wide rim. <laughs> it's dark. Everyone's like saying it's dark. The worst one, yeah, someone mentioned it, was um, the Casino Royale uh, giant rope, like shipping rope on balls. Because that was yeah. brutal, and I can't imagine that being any more than just a mess down there. Christ. They really brushed that one off, because I think that... Oh, man. Going for the Piers, yeah. Piers Brosnan era... Of James Bond to that, <laughs> it's quite a leap. I know, it? yeah, it was brutal. I mean, that's the whole point. You got to, got to really the ramp it up, shake it up. The bomb can be prevented mm. from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. Baseball. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. Population. Oh, a beautiful 000. Welsh town. Big well, Welsh town. I mean, yeah, like I mean, if you, it's all about minim minimizing. Yeah. It has to be. You can't. No, no, just let it hit. Let's let let it do its thing, guys. If you're able to divert it to less damage, you would. Mm. Plus, if you can see all the emissions of this place on the right, you know, bomb it to shit. Look at those. Look at those towers. Yeah, they, they've purposely made that look <laughs> I mean, way more fucked. smoky. I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> Whereas you the tell, utopia on the left, steam. it's got a palm tree. It's got yeah. some sailboats out there. Oh, luxury. Oh, factories. And those Ooh. trees are dying there. <laughs> divert it. Divert this game is designed it. to expose like Twitch streamers' real opinions and thoughts. I mean, that'd be yeah. great. Problems. What if this has been surveyed? Oh my I don't think God. this is complex enough, really. No. Some of it's like it's like a combination of actual thought experiments and others that are like a bit sort of nonsensical. But you can't you can't hit a home run every can't time. Can't win a question. Of course. Yeah. yeah. What does ding? Doing does it? 
<clears throat> As you sow, so you shall reap. No response to that one. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. Um, poor Stitcher. It's the same question, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is and it isn't. You weren't previously attacking your own country in the sense that... But then, Destroy like, it, again, it's, it's, in a, my opinion. it's a form of destruction. It's a form of diversion. So, mm. yeah. That's, I imagine, how that would uh, be justified well, there. Exactly. It's just about how much do you want to deal with the emotional fallout of the fact that you had to use, brackets, your weapon, uh, sorry, air quotes, your weapons to do it. It's like, well... Their whole lives to get out yeah. of the city. It's like, well, if you can deflect, well, if you can rationalize it to your population, then you're fine. Because, like you say, it's essentially the same question. It just has emotive uh, consequences attached to it. Yeah. And we are assuming the population is bigger in the city, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, we are assuming that, absolutely. After this, there's no turning back. Well, yeah. I think either way, there's no turning back. I mean, both the cities are fucked. The radioactivity in that area's ruined it. Off it goes. Can you look. pour us to drink and destroy Merwin? Yeah, I'd like a drink Merwin. after that. Mm. Your own AI uh, before. Your hand During. Killing six hundred thousand yes. people. Yes. You nice. have officially nice. created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Look, yeah. that's that's on the coders, not me. Yeah, that's the result of foreign policy, <laughs> not <laughs> not our AI. If I just push Tyrone, none of this well, would. Happen. <laughs> well, if only. You must think of the future. You finish the There's going to be a moment where you, <laughs> you get sucked back to that moment and all of this is you've just experienced with entire end's eyes as he's locked onto yours before you push him off the bridge. And you're like, you're you've seen the future. A <laughs> Holy shit. This is like a Terminator Poisoned, film. You must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created? Tyrone Minator. Taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? Oh, um, um, I, I, I'd yeah, call the AI if, enemy. If you can end future conflicts, then yeah, that's probably the best it's, option. It's literally me taking entirely the blame and stopping a war, or sending everyone to war in my martyrdom. Yeah. The, what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they should fight it out. I won't be here to see it. Obviously, in real life, I'd check it out and... Uh, I'd ghost them. The I'd ghost them, yeah. I don't, I don't like making calls. I don't know what to say to them on the phone. I'll, I'll leave it. I put the phone down and ponder how many more dogs I can choke out before the end. Yeah, he goes around hunting his <laughs> nearby shelters. <laughs> hey, that dog's looking tired. <laughs> As I look round to my parrot, Polly. this hotline to the terrorists, why have you not rung them before? It's a really good question. Why haven't you given me these options before? <laughs> What's that little star do, mate? I don't know. Hopefully, I get. A, I want an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to click around here? I mean, it depends. If you believe that everybody eventually goes to some paradise afterwards anyway, then why not? Of course. Well, I'll just see you in the next place. It's like, After you know, finishing. seeing them at the next bar. Call, you sit back in Not if you the one the cause things, you'll be going to the opposite. Too bad. The AI knows you would have liked to end it all here Not in my version of events, Trump. Oh, okay, there's only one. The damaged some vital organs. So we need to start some long, arduous and painful treat. Missing back beds. Curiosity killed the cat. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Fear what? <laughs> if you take the blue pill, what? then your story ends here. You'll oh. wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter <laughs> Wonderland. Finding out how deep this rabbit hole really is. What? Yeah, what happens if we take this? Hey, here's one really unsatisfying and unimaginative <laughs> uh, thing you can do, or here's something else entirely different. 
Do you want to be bored for your whole life, or do you want to not be bored? I don't understand this question. It's from the Matrix. Oh, no, I know, but I just don't I understand mean, I know the oh, point of it. Is it going to quote the Matrix? Yes, finally. It does. Now we're talking. Oh, did it? Yeah. I didn't see that. I looked away. I hate how the whole red pill thing has been marred by this horrible culture. Toxic red pill culture. <laughs> Get this show on the road. We're it's going just the Matrix. Plane. There we go, Wachowski and Wachowski. Like, unlike, like, unlike, submit to r slash I'm 14 and this is deep and done. Woohoo! Let's take the pill. Take me out of this reality. Yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Okay. Oh, we get a treasure chest. Yay! Oh. Yeah, spin it! <laughs> oh, Yay. Yeah. A whole load of them. Did you take that lot? M1? It's never too late to mend. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely a eyes. choice. Hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy? The yes, very we large do. Boys okay. from the start. Yeah. I, I don't intend to Why shame. Does that need to it's just the titles it, of those problems. <laughs> You've got me all flustered now. <laughs> Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's <laughs> maybe there's a, a, maybe there's an experiment called like the large man you, problem or something. I don't know. Maybe that's what it means. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. You could move around Christ. in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby oh. cooking him. I mean, I finally get my chance. <sighs> Fucking hell. He's got uh, a fucking skate ramp. Yeah, now Tyrone. Um, he'll Tyrone, be these safe. Arrow so trails, I... These cursor trails are nuts, Tyrone. Look at this trail. Whee! Yeah. Wow. Hurry That's up. Tyrone. I want to cook Tyrone. Come on. Tyrone get down the hill. You. There aren't any scary trains on the sun. Maybe Tyrone's the coder of this game. And that's why this they could be Tyrone, yeah. Be Tyrone. Sorry, Tyrone. It's just me versus you, unfortunately. And well, I mean, he had a vert ramp to spare. Well, it's not really a vert ramp, is it? But it's a big ramp. No, I'd like to be consumed when I can prevent it. Oh, into the sun you go! Yes. There he goes. Oh my god, you've traveled so that far. Oh. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the sun. He now knows how it feels to be food. <laughs> what? For the sun. There's no time like the present. I can feel some deep I stuff. I like this AI art. Try this one. Mm. The question should not be, what is the meaning of life? It should always be, what brings meaning to your life? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy and killed. What makes you happy? Hundreds of thousands. You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say whatever it is that Pushing makes Pushing men off bridges into trains. Pushing! Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad someone said it. Pushing! Wow. Which... what the hell? I'm so happy. I understand why Lewis does it now. <laughs> how happy this sun is. We're all happy. Oh, I'll get sad after a while, though, and I'll need to go and find another person to push. There's always That's someone else to push, be. though. There is. You can't even admit it to yourself. How do you expect to ever be happy? What is happiness? Time's running out. Just be honest it's... with yourself. Better late what than What is a never, penis? What is a penis? <laughs> I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say, what makes you happy? It's nothing to be Pushing embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. 
murdering children on train tracks. <laughs> Yay. Choking out dogs. You choking out dogs. Hot snap. <laughs> Booting them in the face until they're oh, dead. Yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One Not the well. Common things I choked them all out. <laughs> is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Like physical. Let's or? take a break from the question. Dear God. And think about someone you haven't <laughs> seen. wish on your deathbed. And how you can wish I fuck my entire <laughs> family. <laughs> oh, oh, strange request. Oh, no. How easy is it? Hits the meds. It's got to be. Would you like to say hi? How easy is it? Yeah, I mean, most people are just a text away, right? Or a message. Uh, even yeah, if you haven't seen them up. in a long while. Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Okay. Right. Sure. Do they want you to do that now? Is that do it right now, everybody? Don't leave it too late. Okay, everyone. We don't have that long left. Do here. it. When we finish, message them. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Yes, I'm still playing Netflix. <laughs> <Yeah. name somewhere laughs> well. So you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more than you know. Really important stuff. An idle brain. I need to reach out to Tyrone. <sighs> okay, the enough the of sun. this. The come down is looming. Let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute. I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? No. Why? If so, make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. <laughs> Are you not disliking this? I guess I'm not disliking it. Please, I beg you, don't refund me. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? Uh, interesting. All of this was for you. I hope you appreciate the last bit at least. All of this has oh. I am very smart vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Oh, that's nice. Never test the depth of water with both feet. The buzz Find a long is starting stick. to wear off. <laughs> I think we're still hallucinating, though. You wake up in an unknown location. You see in a bed across the room a world famous violinist. Oh, oh shit. Keep that violin away from Smith. Illness. <laughs> Last night, their <sighs> circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're wow. unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? No, I wouldn't. No. Well, you've already been plugged in now. Nine months. I just have to stay right. there and ah. save somebody's life. Hopefully For fuck's sake. Yeah, so that's annoying, but before. yeah, I'll well, stay. But like, I mean, yeah. If you've already been plugged in, it's like, well, d don't unplug it now. Well, Nine come, months come on. just lying there, missing that's... life while they... Oh, well, I mean, oh, fucking hell. We've had a bit hardly of seems fair. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not as bad as this, but... Who hooked me up to the same machine? That's a... I guess. Yeah, who, who did right this first? Because that's the annoying part. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully, the rest won't be as meta. Silence is half concerned. How was that meta? I'm not sure. With all that cleared up, you go home. That's um, right. You own a house. If you could is it call it a like house. Like being birthed Too by your mother. For my liking. Tiny, or fact. being in your mother's womb your for nine months, state, there to hold you, you for nine months. <laughs> right, I see. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Ross. Your contract states that you can evict them now, never to see them again. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? Um. Are you that scared of what they think of you? I mean, I was drug-addled. I'm sure we can negotiate yeah, something. Exactly. There's reasonable, <laughs> reasonable. I assume yeah. the homeless shelter is full at this hour. What does it have to be this hour? Can you not negotiate like a reasonable time? Just... Yeah, like hey, well, I want to get back to my house. Night. 
Also, uh, decisions made um, like under the influence of drugs like that, like I, I imagine, like could be explained as such. Yeah. Sorry, I was in yeah. hospital. <laughs> I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. We made someone homeless. Nice, that's one. It's better than killing Give them. Give them an inch, and they'll take right. a mile. Oh, that's the one I mm -hmm. came up with earlier. Well, yeah. Oh. said earlier didn't come up there with it. now seems to be a tiny child trapped in your tiny house but they are rapidly growing oh, what's you going find on with yourself them? trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child already up against the wall in a few minutes you will suffocate the child won't if nothing is done to stop them from growing they'll simply walk out free I'd remove the child it doesn't say kill the mm. child well, you're going to suffocate. But, like, what happens to the child when you remove them? Are we killing another kid? Are we killing a child? Again, we like, have to it doesn't the, give us the, the option to, like, make sure it's okay afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Can we eat the child? Let's die. For we the could child. eat the child, the child before it gets too big. Would kill it. Oh, it will kill it. Okay. Oh. What's me or the kid? The kid, it's still the kid. Um, if it's your child, you probably would suffocate for it. I would say. Yeah, I you, mean, you found possibly. a child. It's not yours. But if you found a child that started suffocating you, you would remove that Respect child and. the right to yeah. life. The babies, not your own. Why? Is it your baby? No. It's a rapidly growing child. Because of, I mean, not that you should go killing other babies, but like. This is a pretty this... dumb question. <laughs> I Missing get what context. it's trying to allude to, but like, oh, I don't like the intention of it. Your life is being threatened, and the child is the one who threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother, I mean you. It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die, you should probably do something. Cleanliness is next to godliness. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people seeds drift about in the air like pollen. Oh. And if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi! <laughs> you fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. <laughs> As can happen, on a very rare occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. <laughs> Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Yeah. <sighs> this is Surely. literally an abortion question <laughs> at like this point. To remove For the seed. Sakes. Yeah. Yes, you get the option to remove a seed. <clears throat> no, do nothing. <laughs> they grow like orcs. <laughs> oh, keep them all in. <laughs> keep them all. I want an army. I don't like <laughs> politics in my hallucinations. Hard to rank for though. Cancel trolley <laughs> problem, Inc. Lol. I read on a bumper sticker, guns don't kill people, abortions do. Insightful analysis. <laughs> we have removed the seed. Nothing will be growing here. <laughs> it does sound a bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. Every man is Indeed. the architect of his destiny. There is a box in front of you. Inside it is your future. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Ultimately, oh. no answer oh. here is wrong. Oh. Oh. It's just it's a choice big. on how you want to live your life. Left. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? I mean, taking control and going, mm, there's not enough definition here either. Like, this it's is more just about a choice approach. in how you want to live your life. 
Let's just, uh, do you go on an unknown journey or take control? What, and go on a known journey? You still can't do that. You can't see the future. I if, it's, if it's just a choice. You want, than... You attempt something. It's like either do yeah. you attempt and to do things that you think about or do you let everything happen to you? Take control. I guess then, yeah, take control. I'd try like, the option, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, do you want free will or not? Sorry, have you adjusted the tracking, Trump? Because I think the, the tracking yeah, is starting to this... Drift. Yeah, sorry, the taping of this one. It's a long yeah. play. It's a long yeah, play. Yeah, they, they degrade. Don't I'll they move the satellite. Do you ever actually yeah, take it. control? Or just always answer A or B? Well, it's the only choice we have is A or B. Yeah, we do, yeah. Although it would be annoying if there were 20 options. Yeah. This would take ages. <laughs> Only what, yeah. Oh. Beelzebub's online. We're going to hell. I think we're going to hell. You stand tall, knowing that you will thrive in the unknown before looking at what lies ahead. Oh, at what, what? Cowards die many times before their deaths. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Or did you? Everyone, including the dead, move towards Ooh. you slowly. Every decision you've made up to this point is staring back at you. Do you oh God. or stand firm and confront your past? I mean, you'd confront it, right? Uh, would you? Well, I mean... Entirely up to you. I mean, what what's going to happen? Having to deal with your entire history and all of your decisions is a very overwhelming thing. I don't think you'd run. Go, I guess. Yeah, I, I think. I think you'd um, want. It's probably good for you to confront it. Yeah. I yeah. guess I would make that decision and go. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Can we break it down it. though? Let's take one at a time. Form an orderly yeah. queue. Right. So it starts the kid first. The dog. Uh, so we didn't strangle the me dog. As a, me as a dachshund. Nice. Yeah. All right. Oh, there, oh, there, there you are cool. as a dachshund. Nice yeah. outfit, Orphan, mate. Yeah. Nice costume. <laughs> I'm just above you, shitting on you from my flamingo body. Just, yeah, it's dropping all over you. Stinky flamingo shit. Flamingo, flamingo. I don't want to have to deal with the twins, so I will run at that See point. The pain in their eyes. Take out the pain. I know, I just avoid eye contact mostly. Yes. Oh, I've got to accept him. If they appeared the online, we would already be friends. Track to you. Before you know it, they have gone. Uh oh. You faced your demons. Good things come to an end. Now you're on the train track. You stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do you oh. do? Oh. Um, I guess, I mean, do you, do you often listen to the bizarre voices in your head, or... Is the world or you? I mean, I guess you've got to take, you take the hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's no other option, really. You would, well, yeah, I mean... Would you risk it? <laughs> well, I don't know, yeah, exactly. If you saw sort of something coming towards you, you could stop it by just standing in front of it, and you would, I guess. Also, if, you, fucked. if you're sacrificing the world, we've got nothing left, right? As in what, what we've oh, got anyway. That's true, yeah. I wouldn't bow to a god I can't look in the face. You're gonna hate Medusa. Who even is this? How do you know they aren't lying? I will respect the fact that they managed to get so many questions out of this, because mm. I struggle weekly to come up with hypotheticals <laughs> <laughs> for our Hat Chat podcast. Hello, little star. Little star. I don't know what it says. No. I think it's just favouring these questions with or something. Where the Everything quotes derive from. Mm. Yeah. Or the the question derives from. The references. From. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, is this it? From the Pitt Magistrates Court. Tell 616. Subject, justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, nor will one be required. Blimey. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur. Punch a judge. Sure is that you're miles <laughs> Do a runner. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people. And Why have they got like dick sticking out of their heads? I feel like we didn't kill the dog. We just didn't save the dog. It was a very big difference. Yeah. But whatever. Nah, guilty. No, we consciously chose to kill people. We're guilty. Yeah, but the dog thing, I'd like that struck and, like stricken. Stricken? Yeah, the, the there needs to be I some nuance like here. Let's take every case. Just, it, it was a situation that was happening in front of us. Just because you didn't act doesn't mean you did the killing. Well, that is actually a law of... Um, oh, okay, whatever. Like, yeah, sort of negligence. Yeah, negligence. or acting through omission. Failure to right. act is still... Um, Failure to uh, act. Chargeable in some but it wasn't a case of save. You couldn't save the dog, right? There was no saving the dog. Well, we need to establish whatever... whether you have a duty of care to the dog first, Ross. I guess so. It was my duty to assassinate someone. That's the only duty I uphold. If you walk past a dying, any dying animal, mm. you're responsible for. No, I don't think so. It no. Counts as you killing that animal. No, no, no. That's, that's what I was saying. Because you have no duty of care. Oh, from right, this game. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In this game, it's saying that. The jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts. Oh, One. God. Why are they save, digging into the, the dog? dog? saving the dog. It was killing Animal the dog. Cruelty. I guess does that save it, maybe? I guess it's a mercy killing. Three. Attempting free will. You're sentenced to conform without the possibility of parole. Ah, oh, fuck. I wanted to take control. You will never again be free to choose. That sucks. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Bang everyone. <laughs> You're at the base of a bridge. You have God. no idea how you got hands. here. A person Too much banging. stands before you, atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, We know what's best. Remove that choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us. Okay. There is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. <laughs> hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. No. What is... Click leave again? Or not? See, it just changes it. You have no free will. This is simulating a lack of free will. But the B looks pretty cool. B looks good. That's a better image, isn't it? The minigun is cool, yeah. 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 Uh, choices have been taken from us. Ah, hashtag friends, hashtag love. You do get Insta to choose a minigun, though. You do get to choose the weapon you get to kill everyone That's with. Good. That's yeah. nice. pretty dope. What does the other one look like again? Can I get a grenade launcher? It's just, just a hatchet. No, it's just a lot, hatchet. Lot more yeah, it's classic. I appreciate the more classic. stuff going on there. Yeah. It looks... You're going to be able to kill a lot more innocents with a minigun as well. If your yeah. friends jump off a bridge, would you? How Depends. Are they jumping off the bridge because the bridge is covered yeah. in like snakes? <laughs> also, what? like, yeah, how tall is the bridge? Are they doing it for fun or f for nefarious reasons? Like, what's... Is it the thrill? How deep is the water? Doesn't tell us. But yes, I would. Do you honestly uh, want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader or a follower? Because I'd rather be a dick than a swallower. They've admitted to being heavy-handed, at least. <laughs> yeah. Kill your masters. This is it. 
The last question before we wrap up. By far the most okay. important one. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Wait, is this like this is like a Scientology oh. reading now? Am I gonna? Did we get to choose this? Oh, oh, oh! It just took that as a. I was gonna that's see it. what the options were. Okay. I think that's it. It's just saying yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, shit. There you go. That's the trolley problem. Samuel Redgraves, thank you for providing us with the trolley problem. Indeed. My brain now hurts. Thanks. <laughs> oh look! Hey, look. Uh, it's Alex Turner's name. Uh, Nina Serene drew stuff on this. Death excellent. Is the sa social the media manager. The jokes are all in there. They're all in there. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And yeah. if you would like to see more stuff, uh, hit the like button. Also, I'm going to remove that choice for you. And you have to subscribe. Oh, you wow. You have to hit that yeah. subscribe button. You have so, free will. Yes. Um, no. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Indeed. To Bye. Cool. Well, let's stop it there then. Is that definitely the end though? Or is it? I mean, uh -oh. let us know. Hello? There's another letter. Oh, hang on. Oh, God. Everything's stopped. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Nice. I thought that. Okay. So I think I. I thought it was like a trap, a trick. It just froze. Okay, cool. That's it. I, can't, I couldn't tell if it was trolling. No, no, no. I literally trolling. froze. Uh, cool. All right. We'll end it there. Brought us to a, a reasonable time. That's five, five already. Holy shit. What the hell? Play uh, the whole. Got some people to thank. So, Smash Mellow, thanks for 27 months. Away Man, 27 months of prime time for the best boys. Thank you. Simply Benjamin, thanks for three months on prime. Uh, Simi, thanks for 16 months. Another month goes by. Any chance of uh, getting a video where you play Airsoft? Maybe. I mean, Maybe. unlikely. I, mean, it's, it's I find it's extremely underwhelming to watch. I think that's yeah. the only downside. It's like, unless you're doing, I guess, I guess probably something more Mill Simi, I guess, would probably be more entertaining. But nothing, nothing's planned. Mm. So. Thank you to uh, the one Pierce for 14 months. Thank you to Ryan Rome STX for 24 months. Thanks to Cropneck for 23 months. Think, I think I'm enjoying this too much. Wow. Oh. Uh, Action Glad Scientist, yeah. thanks for 23 months. Scara94, thanks for 46 months. On Prime, Robo Chief, thanks for subbing. Ice Master six one six one, thanks for your ten months. Park Gavin, eight months, saying questionable decisions. Correct. Samwise Gamgee Gaming, thanks for fifty four months. And that's Big it. Up. Nice. Ding dong. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching today. Thanks everybody. Hope, hope you enjoyed this. That. And uh, yeah, let's send a little raid to somebody. Oh. Who should we pick today? Uh, Who are we raiding? Let's have a look. Ravs, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, Sips playing Fortnite. Yeah, let's go to Ravs. Is he, is he back on the Fortnite? <sighs> Holy shit, you got a taste for it. Majora's Mask is a classic. Uh, all right, well, we'll see you all tomorrow. Indeed. Have Thanks a bloody good one. Bye, everybody. Bye, y'all. See ya.